Okay, now I'm going to get you to turn on. There we go. Okay. Hey. <laughs> uh, you are not. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you're on video now. Okay, great. Okay, I think we're set up. Um, Got to set up on this end too. Okay. There we go. All right, we're set. All right. So um, let's just start something light. I, I think um, I finally managed to save all my spins with Atlas Earth for this one. Oh. Hey, Ben. All right, you didn't I feel the need to do that early. Hey, Fern. No, I did not do it early this time. I. This hey, oh bronze dragon. Hey, how you doing? Uh, wow. Okay, everyone. I just see all the chats now. I can see all the chats. Uh, not Z pick. Not Z pick. Uh, Justin Benz AG bronze dragon gaming Eastern Ontario outdoor grow. Uh, Hundred fifty parcels or stage two badges. Stage two badges. Well, uh, I think both me and Tasty Wallet agree on that one. <laughs> uh, uh, let me go look at the question. Was it to to go past 150 yeah. or to yeah get go past the second go past 150 or second stage badges? Yeah, the the math on that is getting a little harder now, uh, especially since some of the badges are now being given in multiple different ways, like the the um through the premium uh, through the premium uh, track now, um. Gosh, that's a toss up. No, I'm I'm going with stage two badges because because you still have ninety badges left that you can grab following that. So with the challenges and all that. So like like always, my my advice for, for badges hey, is buy badges when you can. Right? Buy badges when you can because you, you never know if you're gonna go somewhere where you're gonna be able to get a badge again. So if you're in a place, especially if people are traveling over the holiday week weekend or whatever it is holiday time period they're going to go to places most likely that they're not going to visit again for another year or so or possibly ever again so i would say pick up badges as you travel all right so i'm going to kick things off with a diamond spins i got seven we can do here um all right yeah so i'm just gonna and then i got a spin on uh bridge and then I got a spin on Benjamin. All right. So yeah, we I got the full set. So we got the full set of uh, nine spins to do. So we'll start with the seven with Good Atlas world. Earth. Uh, first spin. It's a six. Uh, not a bad start. Could be worse. Spin number two. Could be worse. Uh, it's a two. We're up to eight. Spin number three. Diamond. Spin number four. A two. And I don't really have the same anger over like getting a diamond that others do because I know it's eventually going to convert into Atlas Bucks of anyway. So, uh, and another six. So, two sixes and two twos. That is 16 Atlas Bucks so far. I'm going to fire up another ad here. That's, that's a, you're, you're above the average on that. So, yeah. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah, 16 is really good. I like that. I like that. Um, I've actually been getting a couple. I, I actually got a 52 days in a row during Thanksgiving weekend. So, really? yeah, that was nice. It's been months since I got my last one of 50s. So enjoy that. Spin number six. First ad one is a one, I believe. Yeah, it's a one. And then one more ad. All righty. This place, uh, I'm getting an advertisement for Knuckleheads Trampoline Park. I don't know what you guys do down in Canapolis for fun, but apparently <laughs> that's it. Oh, there! Oh, here's another one. Uh, there's a there's an app I just got called Mudflap. Oh, but this is for truckers. Looks like there's a <laughs> trucking app for big diesel discounts. Okay, well, well, who be... doesn't need that? I mean, they targeted that ad correctly there. I'm not a trucker, but I mean, <laughs> I know I was joking. I can, I can probably take a look, but I mean. Okay, and I got a diamond for that last one. So 17 Atlas Bucks for this one, uh, for today. Not bad. 
Yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Um, well, so like on average, right? It, it's a little below two Atlas bucks per spin yeah. that you you can expect. Mm-hmm. So there's there's seven spins. You got sixteen total. You're winning. I think it's like I think it's like one point eight. Yeah, it was like one point eight five or eight or something yeah. like that. It's been a while since I did the math. Although some would some would claim that the numbers are closer, like one point five or one point six, but. I think a lot of that is based off of and heavily dependent on how many 50s you get and to a lesser extent, how many 15s. Well, the percentages are what the percentages are, yeah, but uh, the, even though I can't get back on the <laughs> wheel, but I was going to show that um, with a one in 200 chance of a 50. Um, yeah. yeah, the chances of that happening are still quite low. I mean, you're bound to average getting like one of them every couple of months. And if you go like a year without seeing one, that will heavily decrease your averages. Uh, someone who's played yeah. full pay video poker in Vegas back in the day, I would know. Never get in a royal flush. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't haven't gotten that in a long while. Okay. Uh, uh, but the fifties, like there, there are times where, I, like just like you, I would get a couple in like a week and then not see it again for months upon months. Ben's, thank you for answering too. If you're a brand new player, it could be worthwhile just to grind ads and get the ten dollars subscription for ten months and get ten badges. Yeah, those are two different questions, um, right? This is regarding the badges, right? Yeah, I I personally think I personally think if you can if you can travel, just do all badges. Optimally, to me, badges is the better option than parcels, but that's just me. Yeah, um, when it comes down to the math, it's it's sort of even on whether it's better to tear jump or buy the badges up to, I think it's like the 4x or even 3x range. Uh, once you hit that, um, then you finish out the badges, and then you you know do your final tear jump to, to go to 2x and beyond. So... <sighs> You you could convince me either way, um, but but like I said, I would buy badges when I see badges available. Yeah, especially if you don't travel much. Uh, Sipes asks, "Oh crud! Sorry guys, I was trying to get a little bit preemptive today, and um, even I, I had myself a little bit of a cough drop beforehand because my throat's been a little sore. Uh, I've been sick a lot this last couple months. I I think." I think all the stresses have started catching up to me. Anyway, um, why wasn't Prolific re-rated, and what's the new Prolific rating? Well, I haven't reviewed Prolific, and I haven't mentioned Prolific on the channel yet. So, well, other than, like, the streams and all that. Um, I didn't re-rate it because I, I never it's... rated it officially. But is there a reason why we wouldn't think Prolific was a... If you're going to do survey, prolific is the one. I know it's hard to get in, but once you're in, yeah, so, it's pretty money. So I gave prolific a red, but the reason why is because of the high barrier of entry. If you can, right. get, in, get, if in. You can get in, it is the best survey site out there, or one of the best right. out there. But mm-hmm. the amount of people that can get in is the issue. So, but that's good for them. They're, they're trying to curate their their user base to make sure that the uh, surveys and everything they're getting are being filled out um, in a beneficial way for everybody. I I don't necessarily have a problem that it's not a wide open thing. Um, well, it's not something so I can just recommend get to in. people. So, I mean, well, you can recommend. Hey, just try. I, get uh, in okay, if you get so in. Awesome. I, for example, got rejected because someone. The person who used my phone number before me um, used Prolific, so therefore, so therefore, I'm now permanent reject, permanently rejected. And whoever that person was that used the phone number before me is now also permanently uh, been banned from Prolific as a mm-hmm. caution. And you have no control. And over there's it. no control. That's that's the reason why I, I right. it's like with the barrier of entry that terrible. It's like you're not even going to let me send you like my you know my information like a driver's license or some kind of verification like if you did that then yeah of course i'd give it a green but because the barrier to entry is just straight up unfair like social casinos already have this down you can get a verification and figure out okay this is the person this is what they do and all that 
And if they, but, but in all fairness, Prolific's a UK-based company, though, um, so they may not have all the US filters and necessary they could, pieces in place to do that. The UK has similar stuff. Yes, they have similar stuff, but not for the US. I mean, for the photos, for the driver's licenses, <clears throat> mm-hmm. I don't know, but I get you. I get you. But until until they fix that, I got to give them a red. So, all right, that that is a an unfortunate experience for you personally because of a situation that you had no control over. But for the average person, I'd tell them give it a try. And here's the thing: I like I don't like service sites. I don't do them really at all. I I hate them with a passion. But if I were going to do one, that would be the one I did. Uh, for me, the one I would do is M Turk. But yeah, I'm not I'm not as sold on M Turk. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Huh? Let's on in the chat here. So yeah, so the chat's talking about uh, Canada and doing the premium pass thing. Yeah. And since that is international to the yet the U.S., I do have to agree. You may not want to do that because it is incredibly difficult. Yeah. For non-U.S. player to do because that. of the amp missions, right? The amp, yeah, amp, and I think even travel um, are unavailable to Ooh. non-U.S. players. So that's that's two of the highest uh, paying, yeah, in points wise in the entire thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I only I only know of one international player that completed. There may be more, but I only know of one. I would want to know his secret. I'm assuming the reinvestments is probably what he did, like reinvest. Reinvest in two Atlas Bucks, doing the arcades, doing the surveys, because they do have the arcade and survey available, right? Um, I think they have surveys. I am unaware of the arcade, if arcade is available. Yeah. I- I'll have to go back and check the data. I don't want to make a statement on that. Yeah. Um, by the way, this is where I'm at so far. I'm currently five, six, seven. I'm currently closing in on the... Uh, 760, level 8. So that is uh, 15 and 55. Oh, Bronze Dragon. I, I checked oh, I checked Bronze Dragon. They said they have travel. Average is about 8 a day. Yeah, that's about right. That's about where I'm at. 8 to 10. Uh, Are we talking on spins? Yeah, on spins. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's average. I, I, I think as long as I average 2 per spin, I'm happy. Yeah. Time wall, bronze dragon. What are you doing with time wall? Uh, roller coin. Okay, yeah, roller coin. It's just he, uh, he, from no, Canada. he's a he's a roller coin fan. Um, I I find really? with roller coin, I'm I'm okayish with roller coin, but just the value, there's just not value there to me. It's it's tedious. Like if I wanted to do the tedious things, I do one of the thousand. Bitcoin mining apps that just watch ads and they give you sats for it. That is a lot less tedious to me. I admit I still go back to roller coin now and again to play some of the games. But like, I mean if you, you you literally enjoy the game, go for it. I mean uh, I, I mean I, I want to see how that. I want to see how they're like. I want to <laughs> see if I can get through the hardest levels there. Um I I don't really get very you do you on that I guess but yeah it, it, it's kind of the, an, the it's kind payout of it's not worth yeah. it. It's kind of an achievement. But yeah the as far as like paying out, no it's not. <laughs> it's not absolutely no no but if it's a game that you enjoy doing, right? It's like some of these top players, even in Atlas Earth, right? Like the payout is going to come nowhere near the amount of time and money and effort they put into it. But if they enjoy it, who am I to, to say stop? I mean, go go spend your thousands of dollars on it. <laughs> thousands of dollars? Oh, jeez. Uh, if you okay, if you are going to do roller coin, um, buy your if you're going to buy at all. The first, my first piece of advice would be don't buy. Um, just just earn for free. But if you're going to buy, get it from the marketplace and not from the shop, because the marketplace. Oh, do people resell? Yeah, yeah. The resell is yeah. like seventy to eighty percent off a discount. Um, let me see if I can get an example. Let me get on Rollercoin. Actually, let's get on Rollercoin. I mean, why not? Let's go take a look at Rollercoin. It's been a long time since I've looked at Rollercoin. Yeah, um, but as far as I know, much not much has changed in the basics on how it. I'm gonna <laughs> switch operated. to. Um, I'm gonna switch us out of video and into uh, Rollercoin. Hang on. Okay, I think I'm there. Let me get back on Discord here. Hang on for a moment, y'all.
Uh, I forgot I need to log in. <laughs> um, Logging in. Yeah, I need to log in here. I, uh, Ben's AG said he completed without Traveler badges, but I did get it from merchandise. So you had the merch amp merchants available. Where are you located, Ben's? Brown Dragon says he's not spending money on roller okay, coin, but he's weird. Pushing but up I the, guess yeah. I'll take it. All right. Um, this is not my this is not my old account. Uh, I thought I had it on beer on the beer money engine email, but we'll, we'll go with this. Um, let me. Get on here. Did that even work? I don't think it's working. I don't there know we what go. we're doing. Okay. No. All right. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on roller coin now. All right. Um. Just trying to figure out. Uh. Wow. It has been a while since I've played this. Earn point four roller tokens on the task wall. Okay. So. My advice to anyone that wants to play this is normally you will see uh, there's a shop here. First off, don't do this. Yeah, that's my first advice. Don't do it. Uh, so, so go to the store and we're going to go to miners. And what you'll see here. Okay. They're treating me like a new. Uh, I must have not. They must have deleted my account or something. It's been too long. But um, but you see here like. Okay, here's Morte Miner. This is three gig Terra, three thousand Terra. So that's petahertz. Peta hash is a second uh, for fifty-eight roller tokens. Um, you wouldn't go here. What you want to do is you want to go to where's the the marketplace and go to the marketplace and try to find uh, a miner that will be a better bang for your rate. So. I'm going to go to buy. Um, and here you'll see some like, here's a three petahertz, petahash one. I, why do I say hertz? Petahash. Um, because I'm thinking like those old DOS computers. Uh, three <laughs> petahash, a second uh, epic chem dose, which by the way, this is be this is about the same level, maybe a little bit more than the Morte miner. And look at the price, 16 roller coins. All right. That's like a 70% off. That's a 70% difference. So if you're going to get anything, get something like this. Well, of course, yeah. you know, or simply just don't play. <laughs> or just don't do it. Yes. Or just don't do it. <laughs> but a, a lot of these, what a lot of these um, crypto, crypto games in general, uh, they have a tendency to face deflation over time with their prices. So they will eventually get cheaper and cheaper over time. Upland's one of them. Rollercoin is another one. And this is just an example, basically. Why would I go and pay 60 or 58 roller coin roller tokens, right, to get um, to get that one Muerte miner when I can get one that's a little bit better for 16 at the marketplace? And I think there's maybe like a – is there like some kind of a – do I have to pay an extra fee or something? I don't think I do. Well, I, I can't, I think, I thought there was like a 5% fee as well on top of it, but it would still be way cheaper, way, way cheaper than, um, wow, actually it was as low, this was actually a little, this is a little high. If you had bought, got it last week, it would have been 14 roller tokens. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, I don't have any miners. Go back yeah. with the original vice. Go, go back to the original vice. Just don't. There are better ways to... Or in crypto on the cheap. Let's fight in final battle. New final battle puzzle event. I don't even... Can I please get on? Jeez. No. No, you can't. <laughs> Close. Why are they taking me to the task wall? I want to play the games. Oh, wow. This is a new game I haven't seen before. Mission Ham's Possible. What is this? Yeah, roller coin miners depreciate like cars. Now, cars, I think, keep their value a little bit more, especially Toyotas. <laughs> so, um, I got to see this very quickly. I'm sorry. Mission Ham is possible. What is this? I have not seen this one yet. Okay, so we're going. 
You've earned through doing surveys and mining spent on the marketplace. Best hash rate per roll of coins spent and built like that. Yeah. Um. Again, I'd rather do my surveys in other places that pay out better. Okay, so I have to dodge the... Uh, what are you supposed to do here? That's what I don't understand. Okay, there we go. Rock Dragon says you need to pick up the red to win. I see. Blue stop the clock. I see. So there you go. Gotcha. Okay, I won. I got 7,000 points. So, and then and then it gives me some some uh, hashes, looks like, the, as a reward. Someone's asking for the best way to earn crypto on the cheap. It depends on how Ember. much you want to earn. Ember, Ember is probably the best. They pay out yeah. a fair, decent amount of sets. Yeah, Ember. And it's very simple. Ember, yeah, uh, Ember. Bitcoin. Uh, I heard ZBD might have a few things as well. Um, I still go with that. There's Ember. Bitcoin Miner, the game that actually pays out pretty well. Uh, like you can cash out 350 sats every day at least in that. It's, it's not bad. I don't know if I like a. I don't know if I like a dialogue that gives me a uh, button that says "Get Frostbite Now." <laughs> I don't even know what is going on. Get it now. I don't want Frostbite. Uh, there are a whole bunch of other like uh, Bitcoin mining apps out there that you press a button and um, you know you watch some ads and stuff like that. They don't pay super great, but you're not putting any money out for any of it. So, um, gosh, I'd rather do that. You can get batteries through mini games or purchase them on the marketplace. I know that they cut you down to where you could only do one battery a day. But I thought that they would charge you batteries afterwards. Hey, Bronze, um, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, what has this changed? Have they just restricted the batteries even further? Because I can't. I still can't press charge, even though I have the uh, power. As far as I remember, as long as I had some power, I could still charge it. Uh, I'll wait on Bronze for that one. Yeah. Uh so if you haven't started Bitcoin Miner, the big ZD, uh, it's it's a big Z uh, ZBD game, and it's uh, my on free cash, free cash at the moment. Yeah. yeah, free cash might pay out pretty well to go ahead and play through that. Yeah, uh, so you can get get paid out on free cash from that. So yeah, get, if you haven't done it, give it a try. Or yeah, I don't think there's a referral. I'm gonna be a, so I'm gonna be honest here. Situation. I have a feeling that I would not be too surprised. If um, if there is going to be a crypto game or a crypto app that makes a deep run in the tournament coming up for Beer Money Mania, I would not be surprised mm -hmm. if it's ZBD. Well, ZBD is more of a, a uh, central marketplace. It's a central wallet for a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, I think a lot of it's going to depend on how we're going to count uh, ZBD, Bitcoin Miner, Idle Miner, etc., as kind of one, are we going to count them as one unit? Are we going to count them as separate apps? I think I'm still trying. They're to separate. Them. They they just pay. They're they're not owned by the same company, right? Bitcoin Miner is a different company that that just puts okay. Into then, if, the then if they are, then they'll be probably separate. Because I know, I, yeah, I know I that was a question separate. a lot of people have been asking um, if we're gonna if we're gonna make them separate in the tournament or not. And th well, of course, if they get the votes. I was going to try to figure that out, but no, I think we're going to keep them separate. I know Bitcoin Miner and Idle Miner are separate games. Uh, they both run through ZBD, but uh, they're separate games. Mm -hmm. And ZBD has its own games inside of it yeah. too. So yeah, but I I wouldn't be surprised if any of those three make a deep run. Yeah. I wouldn't be too surprised at all, especially with the crypto craze the way that it is these days. Uh, crypto. Yeah, we're we're, <laughs> we're definitely in a bull market again. Yeah. Huh? And I think it'll be a little bit more, it'll be a little bit more lasting, uh, not too much more, but a little bit more lasting this time because of uh, our, our, our political climate here. I won't get to too much detail on that, but I will say that uh, I think we will see, uh, don't, don't enjoy it for too long. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say regarding that. And if you're going to get Bitcoin, you're going to get crypto, get it at... Um, uh, with Ember Fund or the Brave Browser, Ember Fund is a is a great great way of getting in there. I highly recommend that. It's it's super simple. You don't really have to do much unless you want to click a button a day and you're done. 
Yeah. Okay, Bronze Dragon says that he doesn't know why I can't recharge. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Let me try refreshing. Still can't charge. I have no clue. Don't you love doing uh, Bitcoin mining off of a battery? That makes total sense instead of plugging it into a wall. Yeah, you, you're seeing my screen, right? I mean, yeah. Let, let me try another game. Maybe I need to do a couple more games in order to do this. Because, um, okay, maybe I need to get to like the next level PC, but I need to win like 10 times or something. Uh, let me try Mission Ham. Uh, well, let's see. There's Coin Fisher. That's a new one as well. So, Coin Fisher. And no, I'm not going like to. I'm not turning the stream into a giant roller coin review. <laughs> Please, because we deprecated that that channel from our Discord because uh, it, was, it wasn't wasn't used right. The value wasn't there. Yeah. But uh, as far as like fun little mini games, I mean, we talk about you know Atlas Earth's mini games are kind of eh. Tedious. Yeah. Tedious. Um, Tedious is the word you <laughs> So, like, I mean, this is, I mean, look at Rollercoin. Rollercoin's minigames are roughly similar, I feel like, or maybe a little bit better, honestly, in some way. How, how many yeah, points do I have really to score in that one? It'd be probably because you don't have any miners and are therefore not mining and not using any energy. Oh, okay. It probably is I need to get a miner. I'm not going to. Okay, that's enough. Let's go back to free cash. I'm... I can't get back to my old account for some odd reason. I'm going to see if I can get on my old account and then maybe that might, and that might help a little bit better. Uh, let me get back on discord here. There we go. Unless they deleted you. I don't understand why they would delete me though. And I just realized I'm like 81,000th. There have been a lot less people playing this game. I never got in the top 100,000. Now I got in the top 100,000 after, uh, Simply just playing a couple games, man. That worries that worries me a little bit. <laughs> well, almost filled my room and not spending actual money. Most of it was just doing surveys. That's really cool, Bronze. Hey, how many? Um, how uh, how much are you getting in like roller tokens? I'm just curious about that. Try logging in. Let me try another email. Maybe my personal email might have it. 30,576. Nice. Oh, I found it. I found it, AJ. You found your old I account? I found my old account. There it is. Well, huzzah. I'll charge it. There we go. So that's how you charge it, basically. Okay, you were right, Bronze. Yeah, this is my old account. This is uh, 144 uh, terahashes. What's that? Are you resharing that? Last I see is the video. Oh, um, you're on a delay, probably. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. So, yeah, this is so. Yeah, this is what uh, you can do, and I think I get. God, that is a. I'm assuming I'm going to need a little, a lot more than that in order to get more roller tokens. Point zero 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 three roller tokens every fifteen minutes. But that's not enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> My real goal with this experiment is to fill my room, then get it all mining Doge and doing some transfers to my other games I play on Hive. Yeah, I'm curious how much Bronze is making uh, filling up a room. I'm curious. But yeah, you make most of it off of the games, basically. And also you can make roller coin directly through task walls, which I have 1.76 roller tokens. That's okay. Um, I don't know how you're supposed to play Coin Fisher. Um, there's Hamster Climber. Okay, that's a new one as well, I think. Hamster Climber. They did add a few mini games to their list, and I feel like that they're running a little bit. Oh, geez, what happened? Okay. Okay, so I'm supposed to kind of like. This is very similar to fishing, actually. Or golf, or it's it's a timing game, basically. Oh well, then they should. Yeah, uh, we should be experts. Put that in. Uh, well, no, you should put it, ask them to put it into Alice Earth. Oh jeez. <laughs> hey Manning, are you watching? <laughs> if Manning's watching, <laughs> there's an idea for you. <laughs> We're tired of timing-based games. Give us something different. What's it called? Hamster climb? Maybe you can buy it off a of roller coin. <laughs> 
Hamster Climber, that's what it's called. Uh, and then there's the other games like 2048, Cryptonoid, Flappy Rocket, Lambo Rider, which I think is the worst of the bunch. Um, I was originally going to do like a top, like m like doing the entire list of games from like my my least favorite to my most favorite. And then I realized nobody's interested in Roller Coin. So Atlas Climber win. Well, uh, but yeah, well, I used to play the. Okay, so I would play these games, AJ, in order to get the difficulty all the way up to max level just to see if I can actually get the difficulty rate to max level in every game. However, with some of these games, like Lambo Rider, it is impossible to do that. It's completely luck based. I hate the luck based ones. Yeah, and I'll show Lambo Rider after one more game of Hamster Climber here. Okay. And then I'll show you Lambo Rider, which you'll be on a delay, AJ, uh, watching this. Uh, otherwise, I'd probably show you on on my screen, but... Nah, uh, that would cause more delay, yeah. too. So I'm going to go ahead and play... I'm watching you climb. Lambo Rider. <laughs> All right, so this is Lambo Rider. And pretty much, you are trying to avoid obstacles and get the tokens, but... Sometimes obstacles will appear in areas where they leave you basically stuck. Okay, that one's not one of the examples. Usually in the higher levels that happens. Okay, I just got a reward there. I will say it I will say it runs a little bit smoother than uh than it used to. It seems like they have beefed up the uh optimization of the game the mini games a little bit. And they have more of them. There's 14 of them this time. But uh, yeah, no, if you're looking to make money off of this, don't. And I'm going to get, and I'm probably going to stop now as well. So let me uh, switch back here. And you can see Lambo Rider uh, AJ at this point, I think. It still has you selecting. <laughs> oh, geez. I'm watching. But that's all good. But yeah, I actually was thinking of doing a goal similar to what Bronze Dragon did to fill up my room with miners. Um, except I would try to grab some from the marketplace after I grabbed some roller tokens. Mm -hmm. And then I realized, like... Um, okay, a good example is the Make Money Wall. Alright, so... With the Make Money Wall... I can make like 0 0.05 roller tokens um, for hitting through a certain amount of videos with the Make Money Watch, right? And then I realize I can go on free cash and I can do I can do the same thing for seven cents. What would I want? 0 0.05 roller tokens or seven cents? I think the answer is pretty obvious. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so. Mm -hmm. So that's when I kind of just stop. And also, yeah, it does get tedious after a while. And in order to make any real progress whatsoever, um, you have to grind so badly. It's worse than the grind with Atlas Earth, because at least with the Atlas Earth, you can start to see like increases with every parcel you buy up to 150. Yeah. That's where most of the grind is getting to 150 for more or less. Once you hit 150, you, you figure out other ways to get Atlas bucks, but that, that big grind in the beginning is tough. But with this, it was always grind, never pay off to me. So I dropped it. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play an ad now. Uh, but I will say, Bronze has uh, introduced me to the idea, the concept that Web3 gaming could be fun if you don't think about making a profit off of it. Um, so I I do kind of understand that concept a bit. And I think for some of the games, I, I guess when um, if it gets a little bit more mainstream, it might be it might show a little better examples. But like mm -hmm. game, but I mean, most of the people who are playing Web3 games are doing it for profit. It just is. And I mean, it's the only reason I would look at them over anything else. Yeah, and if it and if it was a Web three, and if it's a Web three game, and I'm just thinking and talking about the game, I wouldn't be playing it on this channel. Uh, this is a channel it's, dedicated to making money and teaching you how to make money. But my my question is: there any Web three game that I find to be fun enough to even play it without that 
you know, crypto being a as part of the equation in I, I don't have a good answer to that. I don't think there is one. Um so it has to be a part of the equation. I'm actually it has to be a part of the equation. I'm actually really surprised that the Web3 gaming and the NFT market has not followed uh the crypto boom. And actually they've been kind of left behind and they've been going down a little bit. It seems like only cryptos have have been flourishing in this new boom market. All Web3 projects have kind of just fallen by the wayside instead. Well, won't Web3, uh, the payouts kind of diminish when there's a boom crypto payout market, right? When, when there, it's on a bull market? Because they couldn't afford to be paying out as much. Um, maybe? I'm not quite sure because I remember in 2021, they kind of, they went up with the market. So while crypto was booming, Web3 and alt tokens were booming as well. This this go around not so much. Just the cryptos are going up. So, although we do have a lot wider variety in uh, Web three games this time around. Yeah, so it's hard to maybe, convince. Maybe it's just it's hard to convince anyone that NFTs are worth something. Yeah, uh, Puznut. Um, so there is one or not. <laughs> there is one use. This is the only use that I can find. The only practical use I can find for an NFT. And it is crossover gaming. So in the past, if you wanted to like cross over a weapon from one MMO to another MMO, you would have to like get some code. You would have to kind of match the code with the code that you see there, or you'd have to verify it, all that. NFTs would take care of that problem. The network would take care of that problem for you without even having to look at a save file or anything with the with the NFT. But so you know what company does that really well now? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Let me f finish your explanation. Oh, no, 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 no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's I was going to say, there, there is one company that is doing that pretty well, and that's the Tipsy Company. Hmm. Right? Yeah. They, they, uh, their, their NFT that they have with, like, the Penguin, <laughs> that's their thing, whatever. Uh, you can take that uh, – through multiple of their Web three games that they have now, uh, and it can be, and it can be used in a couple of them now. Um, so and the plan is to build on that base, and and the uh, the kind of like the crypto that they've made now is shareable between the various different games that they yeah. have. So I do I do like that they're doing that. So if you if you build up, you know your your NFT in one, then you can go ahead and use that in a different one. Yeah, and they do that amongst their own games, right? It's their own games, yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, is like, instead of having to... Pro and the thing is with the NFTs with the Web3 network... Um, w okay, as a programmer, the, as a developer, the way that I would explain it is... With developers, you would almost need the save file or some kind of verification that they have the item that you're looking for in order to grant them said item in your game. So that's the crossover game platform thing. With the network, you wouldn't need to look at a save file. You wouldn't need to look at any configurations. The network would just tell you, hey, they have this item. So you would program that item to do what you want to do in your game. Let's say that you want a, base, a baseball bat in PAL world, and then you want to use that baseball bat for, let's say, MLB The Show or something like that. Just a crazy example. Uh, with an NFT, you could have a baseball bat NFT exit from Pal World, and you can move it to another game with MLB The Show. And all they need to know is, do you have a baseball bat available? It doesn't, you know, of that particular type. It's just an. I'm just giving an example here of like how seamless it could be with NFTs. And the Tipsy Company does pretty well with it. Looks like um, I do want to eventually. Review Gate of Abyss, but that's just with their own products, yeah. right? Their their own games. That yeah. they're but it's now. a but micro it's example still, of what it still a good thing. of what it could be is what I'm saying. Yeah. So it there is some right, right. Ease. No, there I is agree. some ease in it, but as far as making money, as far as like using it as a way to quote unquote invest, no, no. Well, like I said, at least with a tipsy, the crypto and everything that you build, you could sell. I, I mean, it it is it is possible the stuff that you earn in game, you 
could sell. And also, I don't like how... But that's that's with the NFT. And, you could sell the NFT, too. And also, I, I didn't guess. like during that boom how, like, people would take what are obviously just microtransactions, just tack NFT on it, and then they can charge five times the price. Like, I didn't like that either, so... Well, that was unsustainable, and it died. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and that's why they're suffering. For the right best. Now. It was for the best. Well, yeah. So, uh... But there, 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 there are some good... Like I said, there are some good Web3 projects out there, and I do like a lot of what Tipsy is doing in that in that realm. I need to go deep dive into them again. Yeah, me too. Uh, we should take a look at that sometime. It, maybe I might do that for a stream. Yeah, we got some heavy, heavy users. Yeah. Well, we can have uh, we can have some of the higher ups in that company come talk with us. There, there, there are some higher ups that are involved in our Discord channel, so we can have some of them. Yeah, I remember talk I was going to talk with um, I going to talk with one of them. I don't know. He he doesn't he doesn't show yeah, up. There's a couple anymore. of them. No, because he spends all his time now over on the uh, on the Tipsy uh, Discord. Yeah. But if you you ping him, he comes. <laughs> All right. Well, something for twenty twenty five. It might be something I might do, like an interview with uh with a tipsy company. That if you guys are interested in that, Sem Tempo. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they love it. Sem Tempo. I'm doing yeah. great. I'm most familiar with a card game. The minting of cards as NFTs makes it very practical. Yeah, exactly. I like the. Uh, uh, I like. Oh, here we go. Hang on. I like the aspect of being able to buy, sell, trade trading cards. Without going down to the store or eBay, yeah, yeah, pretty much exact same exact same thing. Uh, I'm doing all right. Some tempo. Uh, it's uh, we're just chilling today. That's pretty much it. I'm just chilling. Uh, AJ, super casual. Yeah, right? that's how that's how I do things. AJ, super AJ casual. want to hang out, so we're just hanging out until like four fifteen, four thirty. And uh, speaking of, are you doing a racer stream tomorrow night? I will not be able to, uh, you know, for, uh, Sundays are uh, a bit busy time for me. I, I can't do that. I would love to stream the first official one, but I cannot. Oh, Sem Tempo, what I think about Rollercoin, we literally just went about 30 minutes talking about it. <laughs> You're a couple minutes late on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was just showing off, like, my old account. Um. It has like about a rack's worth of uh, of uh, miners so far. Can you do a review on Earth Two? Um, Earth Two sucks. It's a red. <laughs> That's my review. <laughs> I don't even know how to get into Earth Two cheap. Like I don't. I don't know how one even gets into Earth Two cheap these days. Everything's just too expensive you don't. there. You don't. I mean, I mean, you can get like you can get like really cheap land. I could probably get land around my area for like four bucks per square but why what end yeah there's no point yeah <laughs> to what end <laughs> they've already kind of labeled like what's tier one what's tier two what's tier three what's tier four and yeah yeah it, it wasn't fun yeah i'm also going to go ahead and put the entire stream uh barring me having to censor like an underwear ad or something on the stream uh <laughs> later today uh so far i don't think i've had to censor anything so that's good no nah. so uh we have a couple other spins left to go somewhere right yeah let's go to um let's go to bridge yeah i got a whole two cents today on bridge on my spin yeah. Uh, give me a second, y'all. I'm I think the to, most uh, I've ever gotten on bridge. I'm gonna cut this off for a second. I I didn't do something. That's fine. I, I think the most I've ever gotten on bridge myself on a spin was was a hundred coins, and that was one time. I've gotten twenty five twice. And my do not disturb uh, is not showing. I usually get two or three. <laughs> oh, it's on. Two or three, man. Why is it still? Okay, clear. Okay. Okay, apparently I still had my... Apparently I still had it on. Okay, I thought I had it off. All right, let's do the spin. All right, run it. And I got a one. 
I completely broke my uh, I broke my streak like a couple times over now. Uh, Eleven eighty eight is the amount of coins I have right now. Uh, I could make fun of ads, but uh, we got Benjamin. We still got to do so. Let me get on Benjamin next. Oh, I haven't done my Benjamin spin spin yet. Let's go check out my Benjamin spin. All righty. What is that? What is what? What is uh, uh, Pharaoh showing? This is Bridge. That was Bridge money. Was he bridge, was showing. Well, yeah, no, it, he was still okay, showing right. uh, Bridge when when he uh, he asked. So, uh, yeah, that that's Bridge. If you are not in Bridge, then what are you doing? <laughs> dr dr drop a link, Pharaoh. Get him in. Yeah, I'll get. All right, let me get the. Uh... Actually, it's on the description. I should have it on the description. You need to get in on that. I'm having some. There we go. Let me spin this. And I got a double today. Ten cents. Ooh, that is ten times the amount that you got off of Benjamin or Bridge. Yeah. So a ten cent there, one cent on bridge. And tempo, you are new to this world. Well, welcome. Oh, you just started. Man. Hey, um, welcome. Hey. Yeah. Look. Let me get the. Uh, wow. Let me get this set up for y'all. Hang on. Um. Look, I I hate to plug my thing, in tempo, but if if you want to discuss all these beer money things, please come over to the Beer Money Network Discord, and we will we will yeah that about that um there there's a there's a lot to learn there yeah we got a lot uh aj and i both well aj runs the beer money network discord i run the youtube channel and i'm also an admin for the beer money network as well <laughs> he's my number two there so bridge will not let you join why not what'd you do might not be, uh, might have a, might have the same issue, but, and that could be a problem down the line, but the barrier of entry is still not to a point where they have, they don't have a high enough rejection rate yet for me to say that it's a similar issue to prolific yet, because the amount of people that have been, um, rejected by bridge, I can count on one hand. Mm. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know. It's rejected terribly many people from it. Yeah. I think Boulder Crypto would be the second person. Third. Yeah, do we know third, why third. it wouldn't let him join? So yeah, so if he doesn't know, um, Akari, I remember, uh, was under 18, and that was during a time, and she had issues with Bridge, and I kept telling people, if you're, I kept telling people, if you're under 18, there's only a certain amount of apps that you can take part in. Yeah. And Well, some type of just, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it just said he's not in the U.S., so oh, okay, there's yeah. a limited number of your money yeah, apps you can do. Yeah, that's why. So that, that's that why. explains yeah. a lot. Yeah, that is. Okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, so for Argentina, um, is Atlas Earth... Atlas Earth is available in Argentina right now? I think that's next year. I think they're going to come out next yeah. year. Yeah, I don't think that's currently live down there yet. Uh, their next one is going to be Japan, and that's going to be January. Okay, so of these, um, well, that's the thing, though. International-wise, a lot of the green tier apps aren't available for non-US slash Canada people. Right, free cash would work for the most part, right? Yeah, free cash would work, yeah, so... That would be a good one for starters, I think. I don't know how it would be in Argentina, but I'll get them free cash. Yeah, yeah, give them some free cash. Yeah, there's a free cash for you. And Ember Fund. I would say free cash and Ember Fund are probably the two. Uh, is Ember Fund? Oh, will Ember work there? Yeah, I think it's Ember. Good luck, Bronze. <laughs> good luck on your badge hunt there, Bronze. By the way, tomorrow I'm going to be, uh, I'm hoping I'll be a new mayor of a city. We'll see what happens. 
Oh, the action that is happening tomorrow, huh? Yeah, either tomorrow or Monday morning. It might be like early Monday morning. I might go and buy like I'm looking at about sixty to seventy parcels in Landis. Oh, is that it? I, That's not. I only much. need like forty. I only need to put like forty three down. But it's so hard these days to to figure out what's enough to to maintain a mayorship in a city now because the the inflation rates are are really high. Well, Landis is small now. enough. I should be fine. Uh, I can handle. I think with the amount that I'm doing, I can handle being mayor of two cities, mm-hmm. especially two adjacent cities like Landis and Kannapolis. Landis is only like a ten minute drive away from me. That's nothing. Yeah. Right. I mean, I, I've, I've kind of, <clears throat> while I still maintain other mayorships, uh, I do not always actively place there unless I see a need to, uh, you know, I only place in, <laughs> in my one city. Yeah. Oh, and Amazon MTurk is the other one, but I don't have a link for that one. You just go to mturk.com. That's the other yeah, one. I don't think they do referrals for MTurk, right? They don't do referrals, so. no. So those are the three... I'm I'm actually going to start separating like what are the US only I'm have a US only US and Canada or US Canada UK and um international. So the yeah, top so- three for international, free cash, maybe Ember Fund and MTurk. Yeah, it, it's getting it, well, we're getting a much larger international base now. Yeah. Um so uh, we we're happy to see people from other countries join us, but uh, the situation in the U.S. is definitely going to be a little different than than Argentina. Yeah, I think uh, I'm actually a surprise that I'm getting as much of a big because I think my audience was almost exclusively United States at the start of the year uh, when we started. This, no, so. I mean, and there's good reason. Yeah, I mean, uh, what's the last one? Amazon MTurk. Uh, yeah, so just go on to Amazon and search for their MTurk. Yeah. Or Google. It's it's the letter M T U R K. Amazon M Turk. Oh, yeah. I I guess I could just M Turk dot com is usually what I do. Okay. Yeah. Or do that. <laughs> and that's an Amazon survey site. Yeah. Again. Um. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys. Let me make sure that I can. Uh. Be, because I need Farrell to show loves this people. One. I'm, eh. I need to show people. Okay. No, I don't want to show people my personal email, but. Basically, would, on the top right, <laughs> yeah, on the top right, um, I'm just going to show the title screen. So let me switch out just for a little bit here. Um, oh, did you get Ember? Did you also place Ember in there? Okay, so... You should place some Ember. Hold on. Am I, am I doing this? My OBS, is, my OBS is fighting me here. Yeah, OBS gives me problems sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to show you all this here. So all the way up here, there's a little thing called sign in as a worker. You want to sign in on this button, not this one. Not sign in as a requester, sign in as a worker. Yeah, you're not requesting surveys to be done. Right. <laughs> all right, so, that, so that's just the advice I want to give for that one. And you're looking at some of the production magic I'm doing to show that, but... Uh, MTurk definitely for international is in my top three free cash. And if Ember fund is available, Ember fund will be the third one. I'm going to move this back up now. Did you, uh, place a link for Ember or what do you do? With um, that? I thought you were going to give yours. Well, I can give mine. I'm happy to give yeah, mine. Go ahead, and, go ahead and link yours. If it doesn't work, then just send me the link and I'll throw it in. Well, let's see if, uh, Let's see if it likes it. Okay, and I'm going to switch back to video here. Oh, it didn't uh, didn't space it out. All right, another ad. All right, let's try it again. It's not spacing it out. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, his his might be in the description. So yeah, mine's in the description. Feel free to. Feel free to take his. Although I kind of would prefer uh, giving. I, I'm actually, if I'm going to give away a, if I'm going to give away like referral links and all that, Ember Fund would be one of them. 
that I give away like referral links to because I've already maxed out mine. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even know there was a max. Yeah, so there's a max of 99, and the amount that you can make a day is 100 Satoshi an hour. So 2,400 a day. Well, then join mine, please. Yeah, yeah so <laughs> I use, could use a couple use more. Use AJ's. Uh, you got your link? Uh, well, it's in there, but it didn't It didn't link it. Send it, send it to me. Uh, yeah. And then I will put it on the on that. So thoughts on receipt scanning apps? We've talked about that before. Um, neither Fair and I are huge fans of the, rece the I like, receipt. I like I like the receipt. I like the receipt scanning apps for if you put them like he says together. If you're doing like five different apps, which I do have that. So receipt apps like here. Tedious, and the payouts are so limited on those. Uh, Coinout actually pays decently. Uh, receipt Hog pays all right. Frisbee used to pay really good. Like blue level good not so much anymore uh pogo is fine of i go pogo is it's all crap man Receipt. they the, the pogo i only do because i can hook it up to uh my 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 credit card and do the transactions that way and hit the buttons that yeah. way if it was any more effort than that i wouldn't do it right and then receipt jar i don't know why i still have receipt jar they were, that was crap. Um, the other one that I do use is uh, Google Rewards. It's this little trophy here that says rewards in the bottom right. And that one gives out the most uh, rewards, but it's in Google Play. Uh, Google Play gift cards, which I would use to uh, play, get a leg up on games in free cash or a bridge earn plus or something like that I would use to get a leg up on it. Why do you use receipt jar? It doesn't pay well. I mean, I, I, I put them into other ones like coin, coin out like like I've strongly uh, considered. I strongly consider for twenty twenty five like combining all the receipt apps into just one category receipt apps because I think coin out I've gotten coin out. I'm going to wind up making about twenty five thirty bucks this year. Receipt hog is going to be 20, 25, and then the other is going to be like five it's to 10. So little. Look, I'd rather, I'd rather just do Benjamin, right? I'd rather just do Benjamin on that and get paid my what, 0.016% and not have to do anything else. Well, how much do you spend? Uh, like for my credit cards, I spend roughly like 1500 a month. So 0.16 of that is like if, two bucks a month. That's not that much. Uh, plus, I mean, that's still the same amount that you're going to get from CoinOut that you just told me about with a lot less effort. Uh, I mean, I still... <sighs> with a lot less effort. I don't know. I, I'm a little bit more up on receipt apps than he is. I am. I am not. I'm not a fan. Uh, again, it, it's just tedious. The payouts aren't great. I just, I, I don't Benjamin know. Benjamin has a receipt thing too. Haven't tried yet though. They do? No, they have a transaction thing. Yeah, they don't have a receipt was, thing. They have that transaction monitor thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get it, it, it's, I'm gonna it, drink of water right back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, upside, upside is decent. Uh, I try to combine that when I do like my guest rewards and stuff like that. But um, upside's all right. And we did talk with uh, Manning from Atlas Earth before, and he did hint that there might be some sort of uh, crossover in the future with Upside and uh, Atlas Earth. Uh, I don't know how that's panned out or if it's going to be that way for sure, but there, there's potential that there's something there. Yeah, tip jar or receipt jar, you have to use it for a while before it's worth it because most of the values from the bonus jar mechanism. Yeah, the pairs are good. The jars that only yeah, all those reasons alone, Puznut, are why I don't I don't like these receipt apps. Uh, in particular, uh, receipt jar. There there's so many restrictions that they put on it to try and get some money from you, or, or for you to not be able to fully cash in on it. That it's just not worth worth my time and effort. You know, at least Pogo gives you two weeks to go in and collect all the things, right? So. You know, that's that Benjamin gives you a week to go in and hit the buttons, but you don't have to upload anything else. You just hit the button and you're done. I actually don't remember the last time I used receipt jar. 
<laughs> we haven't really bought that much because we stocked up so much the last couple months. Um, oh, I do have a... Oh, no, this was last month's receipt. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna be like, yeah, the payoff that you get from that is just not enough to be worth my time and effort from that. I, I, I'd i rather do things that are easy on the phone, just hit a button and I'm done. I'm... I try to go for as much as I possibly can, especially with the experiment. That's why I do what I do. Um, okay, but outside of that, on normal normal paths for the for the normal usage, I just don't. I just don't see it. I just I don't. Again, it becomes <clears throat> tedious to me. Yeah, but and, and receipt. Each, each but own, I will say, own. I will say, of the receipt apps, receipt jar and receipt pal are the worst too. I think. Um, actually, it depends. Ibotta and Fetch might be worse than them because they're more restrictive. I gave up on Ibotta a long time ago. But Fetch, I think, has more long stuff long now. So, Fetch, I think, has more than receipts now. So, Upside plus Speedway? Speedway was part of your upside? Was that when it was also in Atlas Earth? Because I would have been super jealous of that. Speedway was on the Netflix? upside near or the, the the speedway is never on uh, the local speedways to me have never been on upside. No, uh, so far the only the only kind of tactic like that is uh, Circle K. So uh, if you go on upside, you can get Circle K, and then you can also get seven percent cash back on Benjamin. So so you can double up. You can double up with a seven percent cash back on Benjamin on Circle K, plus go on upside and fill up at Circle K. And then I triple up because I also have the Sam's Club gas card, which gives me a 5% gas rebate as well. Cash back on gas. So I also throw that on fuel rewards, uh, which is the shell thing. It also, you can also get the payouts into the Circle K because most Circle Ks use shell gasoline on top of that. Okay, so the... So that that's like a quadruple yeah, dip so right the there. So the issue with the rewards, and the reason why I don't use the rewards... Uh, inner circle or sh or shell either one is because when they do that upside actually cuts off your discount so it, it does it's less yeah but i still make out more that way from the discount that i've made from the from the i actually the, from the fuel i actually rules. wind up about the same as if i just got the full discount from upside uh it's it's not even close because <clears> my my grocery store my local grocery store uh, puts points into the fuel rewards, so I end up every time I go to get gas, I get thirty, forty, fifty cents off a gallon. Oh, okay, I got you. You're doing the uh, you're doing the grocery rewards for um on top of that. Yeah, Kroger's yeah. Kroger's gas rewards. Was it Kroger or? Uh, no, for us it's it's Giant. Giant, that's Giant. Really, Giant's doing that. Giant's doing that. Yes, correct. They they hook into the fuel rewards for Shell. Don't we never get? Whenever I'm up in Greenbelt, I don't I don't see rewards for Giant in Greenbelt. Oh, they are there. Okay, Trust okay. Me. How come they're getting the rewards and yet they like Food Lion, who's our kind of our counterpart down here, ain't doing any rewards. Jeez, that's not that company. Food Lion is part of the Sa uh, Safeway company, not the Giant company. They use the same. Never mind. Well, that's a different yeah. discussion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm not. I'm not yeah. going to worry too much. Speedway was definitely in. It was one of the original Atlas Earth, uh, Atlas Earth merchants. Yep. They were one of the seven original. Yeah, but I don't know what you mean by uh, Pogo pays you back for an Atlas subscription. I don't know what you mean by that. Um, like so, it's giving so me fifty dollars yeah. back. I would love that. No, <laughs> no. If you get fifty dollars, if you pay fifty dollars a month, they give you like five coins or something, or eight coins. Who cares about that? It's like not even a penny. It's, it's so yeah, it's so little. Who cares about that? Uh, could you put your full live you stream know, up just... after you're done streaming so we can watch it after the fact, Riley? I am actually going to do that. I'm actually doing that this week. I am putting up the full one minus the sen minus um any like ads I have to censor or anything. Yeah, they want they want to hear us all the time, Pharaoh. Give, oh, give it all. Give it the all. Only, the only reason I'm doing it this week is because uh, I'm really not feeling well. I've just come off of like a very brutal two weeks, which was cascading following a brutal last two months. 
So um, I've been very tired and I need a full three day break. I promise I do a brew. So I'm doing the brew. But after that, like the rest of my time, I'm just I'm just gaming. I, I'm just trying to rest until Monday. So as I am also sick, as you can see, I'm I'm taking cough drops right now as well to help with my voice as well. And I'm resuming making videos and everything on Monday. You make fifty dollars a month. It's free points. I'm not understanding what you mean. I make fifty dollars a month in Atlas Earth that pays for the Atlas Earth subscription. But for Wills, they get lots more points from Pogo for every pack they buy. Yeah, I, I think Pogo pays based on the Same amount back. of the, the, the transaction amount, but they've got a cap. Unlike Benjamin, if you hook it up into that, there is no cap. Yeah, 0.16% on that. And if you're a whale yeah. and you're putting down a $100,000 package, need I remind you, you I, first off, why? But second, you would get 160 bucks cash back. Every time. And, and you start putting this in for like those people that are doing the uh, the social casinos and stuff and are like, churning money through like a credit card. Like, dude, I'd be hooking up all these... Uh, all these apps that do that sort of like uh, transaction rewards, like uh, Benjamin, yeah. uh, Bridge, Pogo, all, all the like that are doing doing that because you can stack them all. Yep. Uh, so so why not? That that's free money. Absolutely. Though I think for most of them it's like ooh a diamond. Oh, for most of them it's like one or two cents, or I think Bridge is four cents. No, Bridge Bridge is. Well, four, do they give four if you're earned plus it can be up to 34 if it's a if it's like Walmart and you have the correct category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like so, you can do 34 yeah. cents with Walmart. If you if you choose Walmart as your 10x and groceries as your 5x, Walmart would be 34 cents. Yeah, it's still not a ton. But hey, Every little bit, yeah. every little bit helps, right? You t take every little bit that you can, yeah. and so you stack these things, stack them, stack them, stack them, right? Yeah. Doomin, I recently signed up for one pulse, and I've done twenty surveys. However, my XP has not gone up at all. Any idea why? Um, have you been doing twenty surveys for money? Because those don't go up with XP anymore. You have to actually go do the surveys that go up in XP. Oh, there are specific XP. Yeah, it, it used to it used to be that um, you oh, would increase. Shady. It used to be that they would increase your XP with every single poll. They don't do that anymore. That that's shady. I don't like that. Yeah, D it, it, it was XP a reason why when I found out about that, that was why I started agreeing with you on it going to blue. <laughs> so. It, wait, so, do you have to get higher XP to get paid out in the money surveys then? Um. So, yes, you need XP to level up, and with each level, you increase the amount that you get per survey by one cent. It starts at, it started at six cents, and then it's one cent each level. It started great. That's awful. It started great. I mean, awful. I, I got to level, I got to level like 12, 13 very quickly and was starting getting like 18, 19 cents. I'm at 20 right now, and I'm halfway to getting the 21 cent. That's awful. Get, how long are the surveys? Three questions. Three questions? If that. Sometimes it's like one All question. Right, well, that's not terrible. Yeah, I, that's what I was saying. Like, it's a slightly worse one cue as far as the question rate. All right. All right. Oh, okay. I, I was thinking these were the five, ten minute surveys. No, no, All right. no, no. Okay. The most I've ever done for a okay. survey on one pulse is maybe three minutes. Maybe. And that was like, put these pizza toppings in order of like of least to most. And they give you like 20 pizza toppings. And it's like, ooh, and, and it's like, OK, pineapples at the bottom. <laughs> I put uh, I, I like put a pepperoni, bacon, extra cheese, um, ham. I was bacon, not first. <laughs> bacon is first for me. Bacon's first. I'm just saying, like, I group them up where, okay, I'm going to show you, okay, bacon's the top, pepperoni second. No, ham is second for me. Pepperoni's ham third. Ham is second. Uh, cheese yes. is fourth. And then I ignore the rest. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's actually a lot faster Is there for anything me. else? Um, no, <laughs> it should only be those four, honestly. I don't know why. Uh, people like sausage as well. I'm not a big fan of sausage. 
it depends. There, there are some good sausages out there, especially if you. I, I've found some like chorizos that have been put on pizza, and it's awesome. Just adds a little bit of spice. It's it's fantastic. Oh, chicken! Uh, chicken is is my fourth place now. I should instead of uh, extra cheese. Uh, you were finally able to get Bridge Money email support. Did you not have that before? I could totally have given that to you. Uh, I have been given. They've all been for money. I haven't been given any service. For, yeah, they don't do that now. You have to do the XP increasing surveys. Um, they and are those also just one or two questions or yes, so? Yes, they're also one or two questions. Okay, okay, not as terrible. Not as no, uh, no. Okay. That's why I said it's a low green, high blue. It's kind of. I'm a little worried ever since they added their new sleek design. It's also come with some sleek tactics that they've been using as well. Um, but they're still better than they're still better than like multi poles to me, which I need to do. Multi poles is up for the 2025 uh, reviews that I want to do. Um, another thing I do. Awesome. Yeah. Another thing I'm trying to do for 2025, and this is a resolution of mine I'm trying to get set up is I'm trying to learn how to compartmentalize my time a little better. So, um, what I've been thinking about doing is like, because in the past I would be like on beer money network on the discord at the same time, I'm doing something on X, uh, trying to post on X at the same time. I'm trying to do, uh, watch a video on YouTube to get, uh, information on something that I'm working on. And then at the same time I'm working uh, and at the same time, this is all while I'm on break for my job. I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> I'm I'm wanting to learn how to compartmentalize now where it's like I'm going to have dedicated blocks of time for each one and I'm just going to focus on one thing. I used to be great at multitasking. I'm clearly not anymore. So it's something I'm definitely going to be doing for 2025 as a – and hopefully that will lead to better quality uh, reviews, better quality videos – on this channel in 2025 because I'm actually going to dedicate about three hours a day to this channel yes. uh, Monday through Friday and then another five on Saturdays. So that's my plan. All right. We got some. That, that's good. I'm glad to hear that, man. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you put in the time and effort to the channel and it and it shows. And I think people enjoy that. That's sausage. Got some fun. interesting questions in the chat here yeah. now uh, what do you do on um, free cash play games or surveys i play games oh speaking of let's play word yahtzee oh so free cash what i like about free cash is First the day. ability to get paid to to do some of the um the the like the videos where you can run these video channels at the same time. You can run up to like three of the video yeah. channels at the same time and get paid for them. And you just sit them and let them play. And anytime they, you know, are you still watching, you just hit yes and it keeps going. <laughs> yeah. So that's um, what I'm going to probably start doing now is like, I'm going to move like my work computer. That's easy. Money. I'm moving my work computer to another part of the house now. And while I'm not just, dis- while I'm not distracted, I'm going to just run the free cash videos and just come back every hour or something and just click the are you still watching basically <laughs> so. yeah, but th- th- that that to me is the easiest money in free cash is just those videos just hit the hit the uh, videos and let them go right yeah there, there's a couple of uh different companies that hooks up to free cash and uh i would do three of them <laughs> it is uh At the same pixel time, just, point, just have them in small windows pixel and, point, and have them play at the same time pixel point make money and cheddar those are the three. Uh, there was one other one I was watching. No, Lutably uh, became Lutably it. became Cheddar. Oh yeah. Oh, Loot TV became Cheddar. Yeah, no, Lutably I believe became yeah became Cheddar. No, I was watching. Okay, the other one I was watching was Loot TV. Yeah, it's it's now Cheddar. Loot TV. Uh, where's that on free cheddar. cash? Uh, it's under the offer walls. You should be able to find it on. Um, let me go. On, let me go on free cash very quickly here. I'm going to show everyone. Um, yeah, they are by far the easiest money on free cash, to be honest. Okay. That and the, for those in the U.S., the dollar stake. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, so what you want to do is you want to go down to offer partners. And the three that you're looking for is, and you're only going to see two when you sign up. The two you'll see on sign up is MM Wall right here and Lootably, which is right here. When you reach, when you've made about, I'd say $15 on the site, 
you will then see Ad Send Media. So those are the three that will contain the uh, videos. MM Wall will have something why called MM Watch. Type them in the chat. Yeah, yeah, why don't you just type the three in the chat? I'm I'm showing them on the video right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Delay. Uh, yeah, I understand that. I was just saying on top of yeah. That. So so the MM Watch here. So you click that, and then you can watch videos all you want there. Um, this is the highest paying of the three. Uh, 100 coins will get you 73 of their credits, which is 7.3 cents. Um, then the next one is Cheddar, which you get through Lootably. So you go to Lootably. You're going to go to Videos. And there's Cheddar.tv. Uh, this one is not, I, I think it's, no, actually this one has the highest rate. It's, it's a 10 to one rate for this one. The pixel point one is now a 20 to one rate, 20 to one. No, it's nine to five now, nine to five rate. So that's under AdSend media and you're going to go to videos and just pick whichever pixel point that you want. Uh, they also have a Facebook where you can uh, try to get points with codes and stuff like that. And they provide a daily code for like a nine points as well if you sign on. So that's the three there. And then they should have like primo games like this where I'm currently working on Word Yahtzee. And we're going to be going to that in a moment. Um, oh, geez. Okay. And I'm currently closing in on complete level 18. I still have 20, I think 20 days left, 19 days left for this one. So it's it's actually a lot harder than it sounds. <laughs> it has really slowed down for me. But uh, we'll go to Word Yahtzee shortly. Uh, let's, uh, there's just a couple more questions real quick in the chat is, uh, would you recommend converting rent to AB as much as possible for a free to play? Um, that's really up to you. If you are going to convert rent to Atlas Bucks, of course, wait for the the special once a month, uh, thirty three to ones, uh, thirty three Atlas Bucks per dollar. Um, but in particular, this month on January twenty seventh or December twenty seventh, sorry, we're having the special uh, Atlas Earth is having the special forty to one, right? And that is by far the best deal in conversion in the game and only uh, that, that is the 41 is slightly better than the 30 to dollar spent in the amp that just happened over Christmas. <laughs> uh, Cause you got 30 Atlas bucks per dollar spent on the amp merchants uh, on December 2nd. So this is, this is the second best in the game coming up here uh at the end of this month so if you're going to do it now's the time to do it uh depends i know a lot of the top players are not doing the uh conversion anymore and starting to pull money out uh because hey they put enough in they want to make money back for free to play i don't know i guess i'd only do it if i were going to do a tear jump and wanted to get to the other end of that tear jump and needed a little extra atlas buck to get to that tear jump besides that money in the pocket's always better yeah i'm gonna fire up word yahtzee here amp is the way Fun to go fact. maybe amp is not a free-to-play option yeah, amp is not. <laughs> you pay in there Okay. Good, good questions. Feel free to ask more questions. Yeah. Uh, we'll give our honest opinion on it, um, on what's best. My bond level just went up. Awesome. Okay, I'm about to open up this fourth gate. I have no idea what that means, but congratulations. <laughs> my bond level with my pet no owl in the game. Oh, okay. Oh, is this <laughs> this in the word uh, or the the? Uh... Yeah. This is in the game you're playing. Yeah, well, I, I'm going to show okay. a couple games of Word Yahtzee, Yahtzee game. so that way y'all see yeah, yeah. Uh, how to get how to make the hundred and twenty five dollars on free cash and why I do like Word games the best. They are the most attainable to get the maximum amount of to get the maximum amount without having to pay anything. Um, yeah. Or and that's the goal here. We want to make money without spending exactly. Money. 
and or in my case make money without spending while spending only the google rewards receipt stuff which by the way i managed to build that up to yeah if you're you're spending money that you earned in one game for another game i guess i'm okay with that because it's nothing out of pocket yeah uh, and i got nothing okay so i'm gonna play one game with y'all uh we're gonna do new game oh geez am i I already finished that one. I get Google Play gift cards, mm-hmm. ten to twenty a month. What's the best, most efficient way to use them on Atlas Earth? Um, you can't pay for the subscriptions that Atlas Earth has with, uh, with you know uh, Google Play gift cards or even Apple gift cards. You have to do that through their app site, their app, uh, their website app. Um, you can't do that from uh with gift cards so i mean there, there's not much you can do in atlas earth besides just buying the packs with that money in the in the app oh geez already give me a spin wheel all right i'll spin it it's a 30 second ad for crypto i started with fud <laughs> that was my first word i used <laughs> great word so so this game so this game plays dirty what i mean by that is like when you get low scores the players in the game also get low score words when you get high score words they also get high score words it is completely random whether or not you win this and that makes me want to play for what reason 125 bucks yeah that's a lot of effort hooey I'm currently at level 17. I'm closing in on 18 to get the $25 reward. Um, it's iffy on whether or not... I'm, and it's 120... Okay, it's 125, AJ. That's before the 30% stake bonus. I love the stake, man. Stake is great. If you're in the US and of age, stake, at least for just your free dollar every day, is worth it. Plus the uh, washing through stake. Yeah. And cashing out through stake is, is a good working? deal. Yeah, work is here. Okay, I'm going to use that one. So if you add the 30% stake bonus and like subtract a dollar for transactions and all that, um, you're talking, this is 160 bucks, which is pretty good considering, you know, for yeah, paying Considering games. it's just a game. And I can't believe yeah. the game is willing to pay out that much. I guess they're assuming that you're going to spend a lot more on packs and stuff. Well, I just the spent, games. so I use $10 of my uh, Google Rewards to get the lifetime no ads. Uh, apparently, most players don't take that offer. It's like a one-time deal. And then it's only temporary no ads from then on. Which is, again, kind of shady. It- Depending on the game, the no ads is freaking amazing. I I actually paid, I think it was a one-time deal with Bitcoin Miner uh, to get rid of the ads for five bucks. And I'm like, sure, I'll do that. Because I figured, you know, even after I got my paid out from Bitcoin Miner, I still go in there a couple times a week to grab my 300 to 500 Satoshis. So I, I'm still going to make my money okay, back. Okay, here's a 60-point word, Foxed. And the bot fires right back with Proxy for 63. That is annoying. It's a jerk. Yeah. Okay. All right. Dooman asks, in the case of the gift cards, what would they recommend that uh, they do to save up and buy more expensive ones? Uh, yeah, you definitely get a uh, better... Uh, you get a, definitely a better payout if you buy the largest packs in the app. The, the problem is, is when you buy inside the app... You're not getting the best value because they have to they have to share that profit with the app store, so you're not going to get the best deals on uh, Atlas Bucks per dollar spent. If you're going to spend the gift cards on Atlas Bucks packs, then yes, save up all your gift cards that you can and buy the largest pack you can available inside the app. I want y'all to watch this best. one. All right, this is a seven letter word: rowings. One hundred and eighty points. I'm gonna fire it up. Let's see what the computer response, well, the player, quote, player, can respond with. You can write song? What do you mean, Benz? Um, I have no idea. I'm, gonna, I'm going to do a spin here, I guess. 
and I got a 60 second ad. Now, here's the issue, AJ, and the reason why I did the $10 lifetime no ads is because yeah. after every single turn, there is going to be an ad, a 30 second ad after That's every single so annoying. turn. That is why I got the lifetime no ad for mm -hmm. $9.99 using the Google Play. I, I wouldn't use my own money on this, but because I can't get that out anyway, so might as well use it on something like this. Right, and use it towards getting yourself 125 bucks. 100, 160, sure. basically. 165, yeah. Yeah. Because it'll, it'll pay out into free cash, and then you'll wash it through steak, so... Mm -hmm. But good deal. But you see the one that sounds like a good deal. To yeah, me. <laughs> that's how that's how I do my strategy with this one and how you can turn 10 bucks. Well, ten, not really 10 of your dollars. It's just Google Play credit into 180, 160, whatever. I'm going to roll this one now and get my coin or reroll. Looks like I'm going to reroll. I can use that maybe down the line over a game that I'm stuck with a seven letter word. And look at this. He gets 80. OK, 80 points for totals. Wow. All right. Um, Your rowings did it, huh? Okay, I got equip. I need an S. Equipper. I don't know if I... Mm, I might need to use my reroll for this one. Oh, I... Yeah. Do mince. I do. There's a seven-letter word, piroque, but there is no six-letter word. That is annoying. Um... Jeez. I want to use something with equip. Let me try rolling. Nope, that's even worse. Uh, oh, no, it, there's peaked. Okay, there's peaked. And that's a 220-point word, plus I'm going to get a 100-point Yahtzee. That was a good one. This was actually a surprisingly good one. I just... This is my second highest game I've gotten, 602 points. Hmm. Another thing I don't like about these mobile games is how there's too much crap going on. Like, on top of this, I'm trying to get apples for my pet. I'm trying to get ha uh, mines for my uh, for the temple. Like, Does that actually do anything to further the game? Yes, it does. It actually does, yes. That's annoying. Because there are all these games that I'm playing right See, here's now. Here's Hidden for... Temple. I'm on gate five. I'm going to fire up one here. There we go. Two and three. All right, sorry. Yeah, I was just say like uh, there are all these games that I have playing for like Atlas Earth for the Atlas Arcade that have all these side missions and everything. But like I'm looking at the payout and none of the payouts have to do with any of these side little games that they do. So I just ignore them all because they don't actually help <laughs> me when I am playing the main part of the game. So like I just skip it all and just focus on the main event to get them done. Yeah. 100. I'm trying to see where I'm at right now with the... Okay, so I can upgrade these next. One, You're at two, the point where you've memorized three. the scripts and lines from ads on Atlas Earth and Benjamin. Why are you listening to these out loud? Sheesh. <laughs> My phone's on permanent. Yeah, me mute. too. Me too. <laughs> I, I never listen to any of the ads. They, they drive me nuts, so I turn them off. Same. Same. I don't know why you would. I mean, what do you want me to say? <laughs> Some of these ads are just what? once in a while. I will turn on the volume on ads and I'd be like, OK, um, I just want to see what they sound like. And I deeply regret it. You always regret, you know, it, it makes me think like like there are these ads for games that have these like lo loud, high pitch sounds like happening all the time through the ad. I'm like, what are you thinking? Why do you think this repetitive high pitch sound over and over and over is going to make me want to download your game and play it? Like that drives me nuts. It, it makes me run, want to run far, far away from your, your app, your game. Yeah. Yeah. So that was word Yahtzee. Oh, uh, and how to get those points. I should, I forgot to show are these achievements. So you see here, I'm level 17, I have 353 out of 500. Um, when you start, it's like 50 points to level up to two, then 100 to three, 100 to four, 
150 to five, 150 to six, and then it keeps going to like two to like you get to 500, and then there's like four levels of 500 points, and then level 19 to 20 is a thousand. So I have to do 147 on this one plus 500 for level 18 to 19 plus a thousand for level 19 to 20. So I still have 1647 XP. And each game is worth 5 XP if I win and 2 if I lose. But then you also have these achievements that I think I'm closing in actually on the score 250 points or more in a match. That would be 100 XP. Um, the swap 2500 times is also doable before uh, before the to before the month ends. That's 250 more. Um, play for 30 days total is a 50 year. I could probably get that done. So there's certain, so I'll be able to get there. I just, I'm trying to get there in time. But you see how difficult it can get with this. Mm -hmm. And with the, and basically I have to grind at least 10 to 12 games a day in order to get there. Yeah, it's, it's not just this one you're doing. You're doing a bunch. No, I'm just doing this game. Oh, you mean 10 to 12 uh, games inside of... Yeah, 10 uh, to 12 of these board games, board. yeah. Right, right, right. I see, I see. Um, but, the, but the only thing... Um, so, with work... So, uh, what's... How do I explain this? I also muted music in Atlas since two, 2022. I didn't even know up until recently that the mini games had music. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not only do they have music, it's annoying music, so it's off. Yeah. I don't. I do not listen to the annoying music. All right, let me swing back to Atlas Earth. Yo. Okay, we're back. Be remember to be a real beer money gangster here. You got to have multiple devices. This is almost impossible to do with just one device. Yep. You're going to spend all your days watching ads on a single device that it locks up your main device. Yeah. So find yourself a you know cheap enough Android or iPhone out there. I'm actually uh, looking to be your counterpart. I'm looking for an iPhone 11 or better right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean there are opportunities that are on iPhone side that are not on Android side, and vice versa, mm -hmm. right? So uh, you know having having both is is beneficial on this. In fact, I think I've got one, two, three, four devices around me that I occasionally use for beer money stuff. <laughs> you don't have a phone farm. What the heck are you doing? I believe it or not, I don't have a phone farm. I'm trying to make one now. I promised myself I would start the experiment and I would start building a phone farm with the beer money portfolio stuff, which, by the way, I'm going to talk about in the month in review that I am setting aside $200 to buy an iPhone with the beer money portfolio money. So that is that's coming up. So we're gonna have two phones, hopefully by Christmas. <laughs> we'll see. It's been very difficult to find people in marketplace that's actually selling phones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it does take a little effort, but you can find them. Th there are legit ones out there. But uh, if you don't have a phone farm, what the heck are you doing with your life? Uh, well, see, the thing about phone farms is <laughs> I used to have a big phone farm. Oh yeah. Uh, I used to be I used to run it was 18 devices at once. Uh for a different different season. Different season of my life. Different apps, different things. Yeah. Things change. But I still have a couple of them around that I do use for things. Uh I I do I do reuse some of them, but uh my kids have uh <laughs> commandeered some of them. You have two phones, but don't want to risk breaking Atlas's TOS. You will not break Atlas Earth's TOS by using the account on two different devices. You will break Atlas Earth's TOS if you are playing two separate accounts on the two separate devices and it's just you, or if you try and log into each one of the other accounts on the other devices, that will also break the terms of service. However... You can use that same device for going back and forth your one account, but you cannot do it for multiple accounts. 
that is a problem. Don't do it. Yeah. I have two accounts in my house because my son plays now. So we have a we have a second kid, a second account, just for my son. But it's on that one device, on that one phone, um, and that one account. That's it. Uh, it's nothing else. The streams do not cross. <laughs> my wife kind of got bored with Atlas Earth early on, so she kind of just gave up on it. But I'm still playing, so. Can you switch from Android and iOS on the same account? The answer is yes, finally you can. You can do this. Yeah. This was something that they implemented about, what, three or four months ago? Yeah. Uh, it, it was it was incredibly difficult before that, but now you can switch back and forth. Again, same account. Don't try and log into a separate account on those devices once you've done that with one account, right? Don't go to another one on those yeah. devices. That will start flagging their uh, fraud <laughs> and get you kicked. All right. So, yeah, go back and forth. so what should we uh, what should we do for the last half hour? Well, man, we having fun. <laughs> uh, I, I like the questions. I like the questions. Can you use it on Android emulator? No, you cannot. No. No. You, okay. No. So we used no. to. We used to be able to. Um, back in the early days, uh, yeah. if you see yep. my very early videos, I do use, uh, BlueStacks on it. Uh, this was before they started banning people for it. Um, but they didn't have fraud detection in by that. At that they point. didn't have fraud detection. I don't think they really cared that much at the time. Uh, it became more of an issue though later on for sure. Uh, when people, well, when people are starting to spoof GPS locations with the, 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 yeah. um, the emulators, that's when they started carrying. Mm -hmm. They cared a lot. So don't do that. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, and I, I will say even back then, I only spoofed to locations to areas that I knew I would reach. And I only used it for for uh, for the purpose of education. I never used it for the purpose of advantages or anything. So yeah, for, for people, but that's just you. Yeah. <laughs> and and I let me tell you how much how much by the book I try to be on this. All right. When I did the beer money experiment, I literally am calculating my own simulated account on Atlas Earth. I didn't even want to make another account on Atlas Earth because I was afraid that they would ban me. That's how much I, I try to be by the book on these things. Can I play my mom's account on another phone on Atlas Earth? For illegally? science, yeah. <laughs> it, it's, so if it's your mom's account... And it's your mom's information and your mom's device or a different device than anyone that you've ever logged into Atlas Earth before. Yeah. Technically, the answer is yes, you can do that. I don't want to get into the minutia of exactly what you are doing because I don't want to re be responsible for that. But if it's a separate account with separate information on a separate device, then yes, you can do that. Like I said, my, my son has an account on one of my old devices. I never had Atlas Earth on. I installed Atlas Earth on it. He plays from that. The thing is, in my case, if I try to make a separate account, AJ, um, they would detect it pretty quickly. I mean, I would have to use a brand new phone and everything. And yeah, it has to be, has to be a new device. Um, it would have to be a new device. What I don't know is if... Plus, they can you've... openly see on the channel that I'm using that account, and that would be that would also well, cause a problem. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would have a talk with Manning about that and say, here's what I want to do. He might give an exception to that, um, particularly because he knows what you do and he knows your work, right? He, he might... Uh, it's worth conversation. Say, here's what I want to do for this purpose is only. Well, considering I almost got um, banned back in April, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> well, that that banning was a different issue, right? That was the the ad watching issue. Yeah. Were you, were you part of that I crowd, was, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so again, they, they 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 hadn't figured out. All right, let, let's let's set the scene. So. Atlas Earth assumes that you can only watch three ads an hour for the um, Atlas Bucks, plus the, uh, you know, the one every hour for the Bucks. Oh, yes, so, are the ruler. How you doing? <laughs> so technically four ads an hour up to 24 hours. Like uh, that, 
that should be the limit of what you could do. Four hours, that's 48, that's 96 ads that you should be able to watch in a day. What they forgot to take into account is, is the ads that you can watch during a mini game when you are uh, doing the mulligans. They forgot to count it. So they put a hard limit into there for 100 ads that you should be able to watch. Because remember, technically, 96 should be the limit for the day. Uh, so they gave a couple more and said 100, 100 would be the hard limit. If you're watching more than 100 ads in a day, you're cheating somehow. And so they forgot to make an account that, crap, when people uh, do mulligans inside of a, a game, and this happened during a racer game where a lot of, it was like an eight-hour racer. It was a long racer event. And uh, people towards the last hour were already solidified in the positions that they were going to be. The top 25 was pretty much solid, right? So these top players and all were were just mulliganing <laughs> to get free Atlas bucks, essentially, to watch an ad and get a chance to get three on the mulligan. And so they started going over that 100 limit, and they start getting these ban warnings from Atlas Earth saying, you've watched too many ads, we are going to ban you for suspicious activity, more or less. Or you've been putting on a warning for sp suspicious activity. Uh they were pretty staunch about that in the beginning that they didn't do anything wrong, but they did eventually walk that back and say, hey, our mistake, everybody that's been getting a warning, we've removed all the warnings, we figured out the problem, y'all are doing it just fine, uh, it was a mistake in our system. It did take them a little while to get there, though. But they did. They eventually got there. I'm not sure if it was the racer event. Was it a racer event? Or was it? it was the it racer. Was racer. It was the racer it was, event. Yeah, I, I, was I, in, I remember this. Okay, I was in Tennessee. Yeah, I remember I was in Tennessee, and I was like, Oh, I'm actually going to try doing this mini game because it was during the period that I actually wasn't doing mini games as much. But I'm in I'm in Clarksville now for the Eclipse, and Tennessee is way easier to get top three in state than it was in, in North Carolina, Carolina yeah. the the Thunderdome. So I went <laughs> and uh, so I went and I did it. I got second in state, and I just did it with Mulligans. Today now I can easily break, like. Yeah. I can easily break top 25 and probably win North Carolina. Me and Heretic War, it's a close one. But, yeah. Yeah, th those, were, those were tougher times on that. But, yeah, that, that's what happened. It was, it was the silliest thing it was. that someone didn't, didn't bother to recognize an entire factor of the yeah. game. But... <laughs> oh, well, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's... Live and learn. Live and learn. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a good while now since then, too. Things have definitely changed. I also think that Manning coming no, in... and pre-Manning, too. Yeah, I was pre-Manning. Pre -Manning. So Manning actually coming in to increase the communication that uh, Atlas Earth had with its players immensely uh, improved relations there. Right. No, he he was a great addition. He engages the community a lot more, um, and you know, it's fantastic. I, I mean, this is this is the best communication I've seen from them since the the early days of Atlas yeah. Earth, when when you know the CEO was constantly in, in yep. the Discord having chats with people. By the um, way, SR, but, um, I should mention uh, last racer event, I got third. I I just had to put yeah, it out. That was the practice. That was the practice one. It was so, a test one. Uh, but the test one. Well, I got third in the test one yeah, too. You did. You did. Yeah, you got one in the so, one too before that. Oh no, the one before that. Yeah, I I got it in the first test event when it was so freaking difficult. The second one, I it, it wouldn't give me a win on that coin flip at all ever. Yeah. It was so annoying. Ugh, I got really annoyed that on that annoying. second. One. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because you got top 25. I got, like, top 500. Yeah, it, that one was rough. Uh, the, the, the the third one was a much better game. They got most of the kinks worked out. There's still yeah. some, which is why I'm intrigued to see what they're going to do on the next racer event tomorrow to see whether or not they they fix that. Yeah, same. Oh, tomorrow's going to be insane. I am. I might do a, I might do a mini game stream. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. I wish I could join the Racer in on that. is ah. the easiest game to stream for me because it's just four buttons and that's it. Yeah, it, it, it's the, the shift and then the. the yeah, yeah it, it's super. And then you can talk in between. Yeah. You only need to pay attention for like 
10 seconds of the game, yeah. right? And, and the, the rest you can uh, and the hardest, have conversations. And the hardest for me is golf because... Golf is so annoying. I got really frustrated with golf again. But I want. I hate golf. I I, I, I love golf. I I love golf. I I hate golf because I. Well, I love it because I actually won an event for once. So. Yeah, yeah, you won it. (laughs) You love it because you won it. I hate golf. I hate golf. It is by far my least favorite game now. It has now surpassed uh, worship in my most hated. No worship uh, is worship sucks. Worship sucks. No. Golf is worse. It's worse. No, worship it's is worse. It's awful. Worship is. You can't convince. Worship is okay. Worship is like bad DDR. <laughs> yeah, but there, there's no time where I'm in worship where I say over and over again, "I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game." I did nothing different than last time. I hate this. If game. If DDR was on, yeah, ca- that happens all the time in golf. If DDR was on Cash Walk, worship would be on Mac Adam. <laughs> Look, if I could avoid both of them and still make tons of uh, Atlas bucks, I would do that. However, <laughs> um, this last golf event, I I couldn't play for the first hour and a half, so I come in in the last half hour and just I, I just tried to make top five hundred, which which I easily did. Sixteen legendary parcel upgrades. Are you going for one hundred fifty legendaries? Why? Why are you doing that? 150 legend are you going for 150 legendaries are you doing this on one of your streams sr i do i need to go on the streams and start uh, i need to go on one of his streams he's actually been growing he's been growing like crazy the last couple months sr he was like i think like a little over a thousand uh at one point he's like close to 20k now he's been doing these streams of like him like sleeping streams and all that it's it's actually really interesting he's it's, great with interacting with his what fans. streams Sleeping streams, is, his uh, talking streams. What's a sleeping stream? It, they're like live streams, basically in general. But but he he does great interaction with his fans. Go check out his channel when you if you guys want to go check out something a little bit more on the life kind of thing. All right. Oh, you're not streaming. You're streaming like kind of like you're streaming constantly. Every time I'm on YouTube, I see you streaming something. Why would you want 32 LPUs? Buy more parcels. Get above 2x. Go. Yeah, get, well, because I maybe some people are doing the 150 legendary strategy, but it's not a viable but, but strategy. It's got a cap then. Yeah, you have a cap then. Yeah. Yeah, the cap so, is... Go beyond 2x. There's no cap. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Uh, do we do we have the math on how much you could make with 150 uh, LPUs? I can probably just fire that. And how much that would cost to get there? I mean, I can just go right <laughs> to the Atlas Earth calculator and just do it right now. Zero, zero, yeah. zero, one fifty, hundred one badges. Um, let me let me switch over to. Yeah, we would assume they have one hundred one badges at that. Point. Yeah, so let me switch over to uh, the calculator. Okay, zero, 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 one fifty, one hundred one. I, I badges. wonder how much that's making a month. Not going for 150. You like the parcels and to collect them? Oh, okay. Yeah. Then, then yeah, that's fine. That's perfectly viable. So, sixty sixty nine dollars a month. Okay, well, then I'm almost at that at two x. Then I am, I'm at sixty eight. I'm at sixty eight right now on two x, and I've got twenty almost twenty eight hundred parcels. I'm currently. I'm still a ways from that. 77, 272. So it's 125,000 Atlas bucks for 50 legendary parcels. I'm at 60, so, $60 and 72 cents a month at the moment for me. Yeah, so I'm, I'm about to break his strategy and he can't go beyond that. You should be oh, well beyond break. I can't break. Them. You should be well beyond break. No, I'm at 60. I'm 68. You can put it in my parcel okay. count. You can yeah, find I'm gonna me. find you. I'm like I'm like number one sixty or well like one forty or something. I'm doing like that. that. Go, scroll down to yeah. You can put in my stuff. I, I don't care. Um, I'm about to buy about another hundred parcels uh, this weekend, maybe. Okay. No. So SR, uh, we did get a hint from uh, Manning that they might have one forty two. Uh, by the way. I'm 142. Yeah, there might be a little bit of a bonus to having all the LPUs. They might be giving some sort of bonus, but they said if that happens, they will give people a chance to go back and buy any LPUs that they didn't already obtain. So 
I'd rather just hold my Atlas Bucks until that point. Eighty six ninety four. As you can see my um my my legendary my ratios are actually really good if you if yeah, you mine I, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> my, my ratios are pretty good and I'm not using any quote unquote strategies because none of them work I just buy and it, it's just it's just random but I am uh, I, last time I checked I was below in uh, commons I was below uh, I was above in rares a little bit below in uh, epics but above in uh, legendary. How much do you think top twenty five will get for the mini game? Um, in the U.S. In, racer. in the U.S. for racer, I'm gonna say you're gonna profit at least twelve hundred, a thousand, at least a thousand at minimum for tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be popular. It's gonna be a three hour game. Three so hour game. I'm be... predicting two fifty k for the pot. So that yeah, I... the prize with a state with a state win, I would say you could probably profit like twelve hundred out of it. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let, let's be face it. it even though Racer has its issues, it is by far the most popular mini game. Yeah. It, it's going to be a nice payout, uh, but it's going to take a little effort to get there on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, eighteen hundred payout. Ah. Mm. Okay, so three. Gosh. You think three hundred k pot? You think three hundred k pot? Huh? I, I don't think it. I don't know if he'll break three hundred k. I'm going two fifty. I don't know if it'll hit three hundred. I'm going two fifty. I would love it to hit that, but I don't think so. Okay, so with two fifty k, um, it's eleven twenty five for a top twenty five, is the approximate I have. Let me check um, previous ones for what a state win would constitute. What's the new strategy? Late perfects or early perfects? Um, mid perfects. So. Well, mid perfect no. got me third place. I I I think for the first two early perfects are a little better. Okay, yeah, All I right. agree with that. I agree with that. First two shifts, early perfects are better. Um, the the last two as close to that red line as you can get. I I would say early perfect, early perfect, mid perfect. Oh, early perfect, two mid perfects, and a late perfect. If you're going to do it. Estimated release date for Atlas Earth web map. Uh, yes, I believe that's happening later this week. Which what? From which what one? I understand. The the Atlas Earth uh, web map. Ah. Right. Uh, they're doing updates to the uh, they, they just released an update for a new integrated leaderboard that is going to be inside the app that's supposed to come out. Tuesday, I want to say. Oh shoot! Um, Guess what I'm doing Wednesday. <laughs> and and I think I think what Manning said, if my memory serves, I may have this wrong. So <laughs> I, I believe he said this was all in preparation for the the web app update for the mayor map. So, oh, so the, yeah, they're I doing their own mayor map. We're getting now. it sooner rather than later. Okay. All right. Sooner rather than later. <laughs> I don't want to say that wouldn't surprise me if it's this week, but uh, it is holiday time. So maybe it gets pushed back, but uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, yeah, so I'm closing that one now. Yeah, we have to happy to give any strategies like, look, we, we make our strategies known. Uh, come try and beat us. I some of you can beat me out there, and I, I love that. Some of you can. I love that even better. I'm uh, a bit more competitive, <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, come look, have fun. Like uh, we, we've always been open on how we play. Um, we don't we don't hide it. Uh, we we want we want more people engaged. The more of players that are engaged, actually, the better it is, and the pot payout and everything like that. So. Um, play. Okay, so... Is the, is the integrated web map going to add the international leaderboard and all that? I believe that is part of what we're going to see. Yes, the integrated the integrated international leaderboard. Uh, at the current pace, the top 150, 200, 400, 500 are all going to be U.S. players just because we've been playing longer and people spent the money. But yeah, it'll be integrated from what I understand. Okay, so bowling three hour event was twenty was two hundred thirty six k. That was the first three hour event for bowling under the challenges. 
So mm-hmm. I think 250, maybe 260 is reasonable. And that, that was... It's been a while since we had Racer. Yeah. So people might be super excited. Well, let's see. And it's a quicker K. quicker game. It's a quicker game. Yeah, 300K would be 1350 for top 25. And I'm not even counting like... Eight. And I think it's one third of that for a state win. So 1800 minus like whatever you would try to put down let's say you put down 300 yeah 15 you could make profit 1500 with the top 25 yeah no it's definitely going to be one that uh, i'm going to push for as hard as i can depending upon the available time that i have yeah. i will have <laughs> plenty of time so i will get top 25 yeah. see the problem is like i make this no secret on sunday i i can't participate for about 30 minutes of the event mm. i i drive kids around during that time so i start off really strong and then i hope people don't <laughs> don't catch up for the first for the next 30 minutes but the last two hours once i hit it i'm i'm hitting it hard and depending on what the payout's going to be i may or may not do mulligans mm. If if the payout on the mini games is going to be closer to fifteen hundred, I may push. Maybe I might do that for the last hour. I'll have to see. I, I'm going to have to see because remember, I'm going to be missing half an that, hour. That too, that too, yeah. That, that time is going to be gone, and and I just I I can't make up for it. I I, well, I can't make up for missed time, yeah. so I have to make up for it by the these other paths. So. What did you see that I'm making per month in uh, the Atlas Earth calculator? Oh, uh, let me get back to it. Hang on. Because I, I thought I already mentioned it was 80, 86.95, and I'll show you um, the parameters as well because I know we talked about this. 86.95? 86.95. No, there's no way. I'm I'm not making that much a month. I'm doing I'm 64 not. hours of super rent boost per month. Yeah, of course. I, I haven't missed an hour since they've... They went to the eight hour. Yeah, so uh, each super rent boost, boost is thirty dollars and sixty nine cents for you. So you do yeah, two so of 60. them, sixty one thirty eight, and then you're also yeah. Making, it's the rest of the month that doesn't pay anything, <laughs> and you also make ninety two cents a day on top of it. So it's eighty six ninety four. Never been that high. Well, you're also paying fifty dollars a month for the Explorers Club, so your profit is thirty seven a month right now. Uh, I'm minus ten for the um, minus ten for the challenges. For- yeah. So twenty seven, yeah, for the premium month. track, twenty seven a month. Yeah, th- this may be the last month I'm do the challenges, um, because gosh, it's kind of stressful. I'm going to show everyone Shaman Fifteens now, because I. But you, you, this s- is a you saw my rates on, you saw the rates on my, uh, on, on my uh, parcels, right? I'm I'm doing pretty good on the distribution. Right. But that's just luck. There's no strategy there. All right. So you love the thirty mini games. And make hope they make that a thing once a week. Uh, yeah. At this point, I don't know if they love the thirty minute games or not. They they probably don't because they don't get any they don't get any ad watches from that, and that's that's pays for stuff. Yeah, they probably don't. The ad watching is what pays them. They do like the participation where it does kind of, you know, removes a third of the Atlas books, you know, a fourth of the Atlas books put in. It takes out. But they do at a 40,000 pot. So they have to have the game be, have to, the pot would have to be 160,000 to make up for the loss. And anything above that would be. Where they start removing Alice Bucks from the game instead of adding. Hmm. Okay, so Shaman 15's earnings twenty seven hundred forty two dollars a month. You subtract fifty from the Explorers Club twenty six ninety two a month. Is he? I didn't even check. Is he part of the Explorers Club? <laughs> he is part of the Explorers Club. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. The uh... <laughs> I, I went to look, and it's uh, number number sixteen. Steve one from. Governor of New Hampshire is the highest player without Explorers Club. Uh, That's funny. Number 16, you said? Yeah, number 16. He's probably cashing out. 
number 19, number 23. It gets a little sporadic at that point, but yeah. Yeah. So. That's true, but then again, Mulligans are fairly new to the mini games, and we plenty without it. Um, yes, but they like making the money from the Mulligans. That's why they introduced it. <laughs> Yes. They introduced it to try and get a, a second payday on the Alice Bucks spent. I mean, they want us to watch Mulligans. That's Is why Mulligan they're there. Really new now. I mean, they've been around for like over a year at this point. Yeah, it's 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 about a year now. Um, I I think they came out early early this year. It feels like forever because we've been doing for you know everything since. But I don't recall last Christmas. Uh, with the the racer all day event that Mulligans existed, and that's what I'm using for for my memory jog. And if it didn't exist during that, then it had to have come out in the new year. So, one last thing I was thinking about, and I didn't think about this back when I was talking about the uh, future of the channel. La I think it was last beer money brew, or the one before that. Um, no, it was the it was the one two weeks ago because I did not have one last week. And the issue, and the thing is, um, there's been people asking me to do certain reviews and certain things, and doing the regular video uploading does kind of take a toll on me a little bit. Um, people have been asking me to kind of go back to more sporadic updating. So not just doing Wednesday and Saturdays, because now we have, because back then I didn't have a stream. Now I have a stream. So there's something that they can guarantee on Saturdays that they can see is myself and semi-regularly, maybe even regularly now, AJ as well, uh, doing the Beer Money Brew on Saturdays. And then like they know they're going to get one week, one video a week out of me. So I might start getting a little bit more sporadic with my videos. Um, probably 2025 we'll see what happens it's it's been a real struggle trying to figure out a schedule this is one of the problems of working as much as i've had to work so but i'm hoping the compartmentalizing the time and stuff like that will also help things i will try to keep it to wednesdays and saturdays though fix that we'll fix that uh, i'm back <laughs> got my badge and now only eight of ten ae challenge slots are filled with mini games uh well that's that's too better right <laughs> <laughs> I am. Yeah, the, the challenge slots are mostly mini games. Eight for me and ten. Now. Yeah, I'm bottlenecked. Uh, the other one is a super rent boost and Atlas Travel, and I am not doing Atlas Travel. And a super rent boost is not for another week or uh, was it five days now? Yeah. So we're we're boxed on that one as well. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, it's about the same place I'm at currently. I I have one more Atlas Arcade challenge I can do, and I finish that up, and I'm then back, I'm going to yeah. be in the same same boat. Uh, how much will players make per month when they enter the 2x bet boost approximately? Uh, well, Pharaoh, you, you just recently joined us at the 2x ranks, right? Or you're about to. Pharaoh? I lost him. Um, when you first enter the 2x boost, I would imagine that you're making probably around 25 to 30, 25, so I'd say around, around 60 bucks a month-ish, maybe slightly less on that. Got back, got my badges. Yeah, I'm gonna go check and see mine and see what I've got on my uh, on my uh, challenges myself. And it looks like I am. Yeah, I need to complete the arcade. And oh, I can do purchase parcels too. That might help me get through that. Yeah, thanks with the SRB. Yeah, that. That includes uh, being all 64 hours with the SRB. That that math is about with like full SRB all 64 hours plus, you know, you're boosting more or less all the time uh, with the uh, just your regular boost. Um, he's uh, the back. Atlas Earth calculator, at least according to Pharaoh, <laughs> says that I'm making 92 cents a day myself. I, I don't 
recall it being that big. I'll have to pay more attention to that. But if you're right at 1,500 parcels or so, you'll probably be making, I don't know, what is it, about 60 cents a day on the uh, the 2x boost. You're at the uh, Pharaoh. You're you're at how many parcels now? Uh, nineteen hundred. Did you come into two X range? Seventeen. Yeah, I'm I'm clearly in two X. Yeah, you're in two X range. Yeah, yeah. You're you're new to the. How how much a month are you making approximately? Uh, sixty dollars and seventy two cents. All right. So so my my guess wasn't too far off. Um, it's a, it's going to be probably around what fifty eight dollars right when they come off of the fifteen hundred and go into two X. Uh, fifty. It depends. It is fifty-eight, fifty-nine. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be depending on your distribution, right? My and distribution. If, yeah, Twenty-five. My distribution is boost. garbage, by yes. the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, and with a twenty-five percent boost. Yes, uh, my calculations are uh, <laughs> guesstimates based on you being fully maxed out on bad or having at least one hundred one badges. Yeah. F for sure. But the the important number to remember is that when you're doing the the boost to uh, go, or going to two x doing the tier jumps, is you actually need to get to about what is it seventeen hundred and fifty one or seventeen hundred and twenty one? Seventeen uh, parcels. Seventeen eighteen to seventeen twenty one, depending on the. All right, seventeen twenty one, depending on distribution. Yeah. All right, you need to get the seventeen twenty one parcels before you're making more money than you were at the top of the three x tier. So that's really when you start to see the benefit. So you need to get the 1721-ish and above. I'm writing this as a video idea, by the way. Well, hey. Yeah. I'm just going to throw it into my random video ideas thing for now. Yeah. Atlas Earth LTU Those are always the best ones. Versus. Those are always the best ones. <laughs> versus tear jumping. Okay. I added it on. But I, I would, yeah, I, I would, I would go beyond 150. Just go because if you're you're at the 150, then you've you've capped. Um, and then what's the fun coming on and playing anymore if you're capped? Yeah. Okay, for this week's uh, videos, uh, we're about we're about over two hours now. But for this week's videos, um, we <laughs> thank you, SR. Hey, well, you, you should, stop, have you should here. stop by the. Ch you should stop by here and there, man. Uh, yeah, hop on the Discord yeah. too, man. I'd love to have you. I thought SR was is on the Discord. What, was he? Yeah, is he on, he on there? He's one of the. He's been with us for a while now. Nice. Yeah, I, I've been. How come he doesn't post his videos, man? You should, you should post your videos again well, uh, occasionally. Videos promote yourself. Are not beer money related, so he would go to the promote. No, stuff. no, in the promote yeah. yourself videos. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. when he does his streams, I want him to. Because he's gotten a he's gotten a heck of a following lately. I, I well, I've been, I'm well, jealous you, by man. the way. I'm jealous. I've been, oh, well, man, there's, there's no reason why we can't be doing cross cross promotion, right? We can support well, each other. I want to. So I was planning on doing next week. I was planning on doing like a holiday kind of Texas Hold'em tournament. It's probably going to get moved to the 21st, and that's probably not going to involve um mo uh, most of the people I was hoping to get who were planning on it being the 14th. So we might have to move that tournament over to like um maybe like after Christmas or something. We'll see if we're even going to do it at all. But um it's because yeah, work got me on on call for the week. Um they they decided to move well, me up a week and it was the worst possible time to do it. So Well, I will be bringing my mobile uh uh streaming lab with me. So if I'm down uh while I'm traveling for the holidays, I could carve out a few hours. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm going to see if uh, people are available because I was also going to bring in some friends from outside the Beer Money Network. Or friends from like my past online lives will be coming in to join us in the tournament. Um, All about making new friends. Yeah, uh, just, just having, but again, not quite sure if they're going to show up because I think they're also going to be on vacation for the holidays. Uh, I'm basically spending Christmas here, so... <laughs> Sometimes that's e it's easier to get people when they're doing that and like I just need a break for like three hours. <laughs> but, ah, come make a stream with me. I'm like, all right, let's have some fun. Nine hundred parcels. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna be. 
Um, I will say, um, if you are going to convert the LPUs, keep one LPU. Use that as like a rarity finder, so that way you can see what rarity your parcels are. It'd be a lot easier to use for like selling stuff. Yeah, it, it amazes me that they, they still haven't made a simple way of figuring out the rarity of the parcels around you. You have to use the placement of a an LPU to figure out, am I <laughs> placing this on a, <laughs> what what level rarity am I placing this right, on? Right, right. It, it's silly that that doesn't exist as part of the normal play of game. Like, how I would love to be able to look at other people's parcels and it's like, oh, that's a common, that's a rare and that's a that's an epic or that's a legendary. And what I'd really love is if I find one I like that maybe I could say put an offer on it. I would love that. That might be coming up. Hey, maybe somebody wants to uh, purchase this parcel from you. Would you like to sell? It's sort of like um, Upland does that, right? Yeah, but with Upland, there's a yeah. minute. I guess with Upland, I guess the issue with Upland. No, you can still request to buy a parcel, uh, buy a property from. You someone. can't do that with real money. You can only do that with Upix, I believe. Yeah, so you make it only for Alice Bucks. Someone like to buy this yeah, parcel true. for four hundred and fifty yeah, Alice Bucks. Who cares? I don't care. Ad. I I I like that idea. I will. I will give that to Manny. <laughs> the best play is also on my brainstorming thing because people have been asking me about best play. And I want to try to I get that done no, before best. Beer Money Mania. Well, uh, best play oh. is like another like uh, paid for play I just, app. I just realized I remembered what we were going to do for December 7th. Y'all, hang on for a moment. Okay, go ahead. Keep talking. I'm going to get this set up. <laughs> Yeah, about to say that, making offers for land. Yeah, wouldn't that be an awesome thing to be able to do? Like, may maybe that can be a web-based thing where someone says, hey, they want to buy this parcel from you. And uh, once they have the entire web-based thing, you could you could zoom in on where that, that, that parcel is and say, hmm, okay, I'll sell that or I won't sell that. That seems to me like a, a great thing that I would love to have in the game. Like, you know, if someone wants to buy one of my parcels from somewhere, I'd probably say yes, depending on the parcel. I mean, I mean, there's very few that I wouldn't say, no, I don't want to sell that parcel. Everyone, this is yeah. the official ballot form for Beer Money Mania. Whoa, we there already? Yes, it is Whoa. now open. Whoa. <laughs> That's exciting. I'm excited. So, I'm excited for this year. So this year is going to be super exciting. So I'm going to um, do a preview here. Um, so I'm going to show you all, or I will try to show you all as soon as I can switch here very quickly. Okay, great. Okay, let me move to the uh, let me move to the screen so I can show everyone how you fill out this form. Good thing I remembered before we went offline. Uh, so <laughs> what you're going to do is you want to, you're going to this year. So in the past, what we did last year, we did 10 beer money apps and you had to have a minimum of three on the ballot. A lot of people were complaining about that. Most of you are only here for one app. Most of you are only here for a couple apps and that putting it all into a ballot like that was a little bit complicated. So this year I have simplified the ballots for everyone. All you need to do, all you are required to do, is to post your favorite app on the first line. That is it. In this case, I'll put my favorite app, which is free cash. Oh, geez, I'm on caps. Free cash, there's an example. Uh, I'm just showing an example here. Um, so second favorite app, we're going to put Atlas Earth for me. Third favorite app. And yes, I count these as different points if you fill them out. These are different points. So my third favorite app, I'm going to put Bridge because I talked about this on the video. These are my top three, and we talked about this. Uh, so after that, here, you're going to list all the other apps that you think should belong in the tournament, and I will take the first 50. So let's do this example. One Pulse, press enter. Um, Benjamin, there's another one. Um, Real Rush, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You were seeing if I was paying attention. I'm paying attention. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to get... Um, Gate of Abyss. 
I don't know, Upland. I'll throw Upland in. I think it counts as a beer money app for the most part. Swag bucks. Paid viewpoint. One Q. Coin. Uh, give me another one. As an example. <laughs> Benjamin? Have you said Benjamin yet? Uh, yes, I said Benjamin. Benjamin I said Benjamin. Okay. I said Benjamin. Okay. I said Benjamin. All right. Amazon M Turk. Ember. Did you put Ember? Prolific. You got Ember? Ember fun. I'm, I don't know. Uh, go mining. Because I promise I'd been an olive branch for those guys. Uh, what else do I want to add? Uh, crypto scoop. That, that is only an umber. <laughs> that's only an olive branch. We. We, I think we, we beat that dead horse, but I don't know. People are still going to vote for it. Yeah, so anyway, that's how you will uh, submit it. Steak, yeah, steak's another one. Um, social oh, yeah, social casinos will count in the tournament. I will count them. I will count social casinos. I will not count gig work. I will not count actual casinos. So, um, like Caesar Sportsbook. Yeah, this is not a gambling site. We're not condoning straight up gambling, yeah. all right? All right. They, ha they have to offer they have to offer free daily free regular money. Free right. regular daily money and it should not be impossible and it should not be difficult, I should say. And yes, this is a subjective thing by me. It should not be difficult to get that money out. Basically, if it's more difficult to get out than Uplands, like you have to play it through 10 times or something, I'm going to throw it out. Chanced is a great example. Chanced would have been on here like three months ago. Now you have to play 10 times over. No. Yeah, they. you need to do a lot of washing yeah. there. All right. Well, I'm excited. Guys, go fill out the uh, go fill out the form. And uh, <laughs> I know Pharaoh, Pharaoh's got some big plans for it. And yep. I'm, uh, I'm excited to talk through all yeah, that. So we're going to be doing the recording for that around early February. I'm going to do the selection show around Valentine's Day, giving you guys two full weeks to try out some of these apps so that you guys can uh, can work, uh, can figure out what you want to do. Informed decisions. Yeah, make inf That's what we want. So that the... Informed because decisions. the tournament begins March first. The tournament will begin March first. So, er, as as early March Madness as you can yep, get, <laughs> and it's going to end. I I had this set up thirty one days, March first to the thirty first. All right. So I have it all set up for y'all. All right. All right. All right. So, yeah, go check that out. The ballot is now open for y'all. The ballot will be open for Discord members later tonight. Um, and then it will be open to every to all regular members on the thirteenth. So that is it. That, that, that's pretty much it for the beer money mania. Um, we'll probably do a pre selection show before then. The two of us. Some reason people like to hear us talk, yeah, right? The two of <laughs> so. us, Kelly, uh, Shane, um, I mean, and uh, probably Bronze Dragon will join us for that one. Yeah, see who else we can get yeah, on. Bronze Dragon, Tasty Wallet, Midnight. I mean, any of those. Yeah. But I, I know for at least the three of us, Shane is awesome with sports announcing. He is awesome. <laughs> he, he's got the voice for radio. Yeah, I, I want a DJ Garden, but I haven't seen her in a while. Also the face. Also the face for radio. Uh -huh. Yeah, I haven't talked to DJ Garden in a while. So Yeah, so I was gonna I wanted to add her into the I wanted to add her into the mix as well, but I haven't heard from her in a bit. I think she's been really busy with life in general, so um i get that my life's not busy yeah, at all no, me too. i look the last couple months yeah no if you need to take a break yeah, from no. this all take all the break that you need believe me i was yeah. yeah i've been i'm surprised i did not just go on another six month hiatus after this nah, it's all for fun though we're having fun yeah. here yeah no no this is this has been good this has been good um yeah uh it's been over two hours aj it's almost five well be, before we end i want, I want to yeah. talk about uh bronze dragon said real yeah, quick ahead, on the ahead. chat uh yeah he he made some comments about how we were talking earlier about uh the the buying and selling of parcels mm -hmm. my, my idea is not that a person can buy any parcel from anywhere as everything is centrally located right uh, you have to be on location to buy, no matter what. Correct. So you can put it in an offer. And once you put it in an offer, uh, then it would be sent to uh, the the person that owns that parcel, which could be done on the web app, and that 
that person because I own parcels all over the country. Let's let's be honest. It's all over the place. So I won't know where this this parcel is that somebody's making an offer on. So then I would have the ability on the web app to say, okay, this parcel's here. Uh, okay, I agree to it and make the sale or back and forth now uh, could be done on the web app once the offer has been made in person on like uh you know the person offers 400 i'm like nah 800 he comes back 600 i'm like okay cool um but no i don't i don't imagine the uh, the buying the initial offer the initial offer has to occur on location where that parcel is. I'm not, I'm not saying go anywhere on a map and say, I want to buy somebody's parcel. You know, someone's in Seattle and I want to buy their parcel, parcel from Seattle and I'm here in D.C. No, uh, it, it's more of that person from Seattle is visiting D.C., makes an offer on a parcel I own in D.C. They fly back to Seattle and we negotiate the rest on the web app. Okay. What did I that, that, that was my idea. I call the beer money madness, beer money mania. There we go. Beer money mania. Yeah, it actually sounds better than beer money madness. I did find out that I can use madness um, with beer money, but I've been using mania and it sounds way better. So I've just been sticking with it. <laughs> it's, it's because of the, alliter the alliteration on um, uh, money and uh, mania. Mania. Yeah. That, it's that N sound yeah. that's so, working so it's better. Like, okay, NCAA, you can have your march madness that's fine <laughs> uh but yeah i'm but no uh can, thank you to the uh wow got already got half a dozen responses which is really cool wow. yeah awesome guys thanks for filling out already yeah, and, I'm, and I'm by excited. the way by the way you can edit your responses so you can edit your responses up until january the uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna put the deadline at january the 25th because I do need time to tally things up and get the ballots set up, not the ballots, the brackets set up and everything for the tournament and for us to do probably around early, I want to say early February, but it might be earlier than that, uh, for the selection show. <laughs> see you in Atlas Earth, Bronze. I will see you there. Yeah, thank you all for hanging out with us today. This, yeah, this, this uh, was great. I mean, we went all over the place, but it was fun. <laughs> That's usually how brews are. We do go all over the place here. <laughs> so you were worried. Do we have enough to talk about? No, we got way too much to talk about. Yeah, like oh shoot, well we can go to a third hour, but uh, but no, I, mean, I got. I got uh, it's probably best to be done. Two hours is usually good. My, my, two hours is usually good. <laughs> my family's coming in and like, are you still okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm having a good time. All right, so but, we're going to see you all next – well, next week I will not have a brew. I am on call at work. The following week I will be here for the brew. We'll see if AJ wants to show up for that one because I know he'll be on vacation. It's the 21st. I'll be on vacation. Yeah. We'll see if I can carve out time. Yeah, and then um, might do, we do a, a Christmas one. stream. We'll see. Um, I know there's going to be a 24-hour – racer minigame like they're planning on and i'm thinking about oh has that been announced i don't know he was talking about it but might do Ooh. uh might do like i don't a, know if that's been officially announced but that that let me go check and see if you put that you on can there. double check to see if it is if they're doing a 24 hour yeah, i'm going right now to check. i'm not sure do not do not quote me on it but i remember seeing something said you got me excited hours. seeing something that said 24 hour something for a game 24 hour warship. That's what it was, AJ. 24 hour warship. <laughs> warship? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> as long as it's not golf, I'm okay. Uh, no, uh, I see a 50x SRB on the 26. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything not yet. yet on the December 25th. Okay, that's fine. I thought I saw a 24 hour event there somewhere, but I guess I was wrong. I am not seeing that if it's there. I, don't, I do not okay. see it. Well, don't mind me on that one, y'all. Uh, I thought that I thought he mentioned it somewhere. I'll have to pr try to find a message if I can find it. But in the meantime, y'all, I'm excited if so. <laughs> yeah. So in the meantime, y'all, um, yeah, I will. Uh, uh, oh yeah, and for Beer Money Mania, I'm hoping I can get some interviews in. I know Manning has been willing to be interviewed for this one in a in that, and I'm looking to with uh to get some interviews with people. Who work with Bridge Money and possibly Gate of Abyss. 
So we'll see. Yeah, yeah. I might be able to hook you up with uh, Tipsy, see if we can get some of those people. Uh, I might be able to get some Natix uh, people in there too. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, I, I'm, I'm. If they make, I'm if they make the tournament, people. if they make the tournament, I mean, it would be, it would be cool to do something like that. I, I expect the selection show is going to go three hours. It's going to be like two hours We're of us, fun. two hours of us talking, and like an hour of interviews or something like that. So it's going to be fun. Yeah. It's going to be fun. So, so we'll see. Uh, I will. So I'm, I'm, it's that, that's pretty much it. I want to make sure AJ gets back to his family. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I should take care of my family. <laughs> so I will see you all. I'll see you all, uh, two weeks Saturday. Um, I'll get some videos up. Wednesday will be the month in review. Saturday will be a new Atlas Earth update video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. See y'all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for hi hanging out. See ya. <laughs>